Hey, everybody. I like it. You don't like it? I love it. it. Captures the real essence, you know? It's scary? It's supposed to be. That's my vision. To deal with the devil. You guys come up with a better shake and I'll use it. I like it. I dig it. Mario runs tonight? Maybe. I've got a couple things planned. Starting off with a story time. I'm gonna tell you guys a story. It's gonna be a story for everyone. This song is crazy. I did not know this was the TT theme. Alright, let me make sure this is all working. sofa. Okay, we're good. We're having steak and potatoes for dinner. Congratulations. Happy for you. That's a hearty meal. That's a big umami. That's how you say it, right? I was supposed to do something with uh, friends today. Uh, but then my internet cut out. Which sucks. Thank you, Real JP. Can we hit 2K today? Can we do it? I've never done it. I've never hit 2K. I would love to know what it feels like. Are you going to play Subnautica sometime? No. No, no, no. Not here, brother. Not here, brother. That game looks dull. Not for me. The dark circles under your eyes are especially beautiful today, Coney. Is that true? Do I have the... I know I have veins, but... Oh, I guess I kind of do. I don't know, man. I sleep. I sleep. Amplified by the hat. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, man. I think PhD ate it. Oh, I still have alerts muted. Sorry, everybody.
Thank you, Anki Durga. Bob Ross, sing along. Thank you, thank you. Is no shit gone for good until somebody else makes it? If somebody draws it, we're good, but I only use that one because somebody drew it, you know? <sighs> we all have to agree till then. Yeah, actually. Everybody just has to be on the same side now. It's actually a, a plea for unity within the stream now. Thank you, Regis Philbin. Welcome back. Thankful you get to spend your last day back on Earth subbing to me after the pact you made with the devil. Satan! I need to go back to Earth! I gotta sub to Cody one more time! I don't know how to do a Regis. Regis is hard. He just yells. I don't know what that noise is, by the way. Doo -doo -doo. Why is Regis in hell? No, that's a good question. Yeah, no. Well, because you have to make a deal with the devil. You can't make a deal with God. Actually, can you? I think that's what All Dogs Go to Heaven was about. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. We're doing stories. No, I know the device is connecting for my t I'm not... How dumb do you guys think I am? Why is chat always so helpful? I know what that is. I know what the noise is. I don't know what's causing it. Is it this? It's still working. Okay. Uh, uh, Dude, Ronnie is so good. I love that so much. This Aeron is good, but I think I prefer uh, hardback chairs. You know? Because it's too soft. I don't want to lean back, you know what I mean? Jeez. Oh, there we go. Alright, so essentially what we're going to do tonight, okay? Uh, I've got a story time. I'm going to tell you guys some, some frightening tales that happened to me. There it is again. What the fuck? Uh, I'm going to tell you guys some terrifying tales of things that happened to me. I think I know what it is. There it is. I think that's it. Scary things that happened to me. And then uh, we're going to do a mystery game. There. We're going to do a mystery game. And then tonight, I think I'm going to be playing a fun tabletop game with some friends. Maybe some Mario runs in the middle. We'll see. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. It'll be a good time. Yeah, it's tabletop sim. Why does that come up? It's it's every game, I guess, so. Which one is it, though? Whoop. Super high impact. That one's nice. That one's nice. It's very violent. It's like Blitz before Blitz. Okay. Thank you, where's that weasel?
think I'm set up. Let me make sure. <laughs> I hope nothing goes off the rails on this one. The first story honestly went very well. This one's a little less complicated. So I hope so. But also, I, I could just click the wrong thing and give jokes away, you know? It could go terribly. <laughs> okay. Okay. What's some good story time music? Relaxing guitar music for children. Oh, This is terrific. How lovely. I think the coke was taken. Is this? This is funny. I got it. I got just the thing. This game, this game was a, uh, it was a story anyway. Perfect. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Perfect. Okay. Love it. Is that the first song? And this is the theme. Yeah, this is the one where they sing. Yeah. Okay. Uh -uh. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. I think we're good to go. <laughs> oh no! How did I do that wrong? I fucked up something. It's a very funny something. I'll fix it. Everybody. Welcome to the stream tonight. Are we doing Mario after story time? Yeah, yeah, I want to so basically we're doing uh, Story time then we're gonna do a, a mystery game and then some Mario runs um, The mystery game. I don't need to do though. I might just do Mario runs. I don't know And then tonight I'm playing tabletop with some friends. I think unless they bail out You know how people be Playing Rabbit's X Comp. That is not the mystery game. No, I will never play that game. At least not on stream. Nobody wants to watch a stream of that game. That sounds mad boring. You kidding? All right. I'm going to start this back over because I don't know if all the songs on this are going to hit. So, that game is not content. No, it's not. It's not. I've never watched it. I've literally never watched it, but I can tell by the name that it's not content. Absolutely not. It's X Comp. Dude, it's XCOM. XCOM is not fun to watch. What are you talking about? No. Oh, my God. Bunch of statisticians and NASA scientists and shit in chat. Okay, smart chat. According to my calculations, this has a 98% chance of hitting with a 1% chance. Geeks. Okay. Let's do it. Story time. Okay. Uh, I think we're good. Yeah. 
Fellas, I've been on the internet for a few days now, and I've noticed something that's trending right now. It's something that a lot of people have been talking about, and I love talking about it myself, and now I have an excuse. You see, I've been around for quite a while. I'm, I, as we've said before, you know, I've got a few years of experience on you guys, and I've lived in a world that none of you could possibly imagine. It's a world beyond your vast imagination. It's a world... A blockbuster video. Now, blockbuster video, for you who weren't around, many of you guys were very young at this time, you don't know what this is. Uh, basically, it's bad Netflix. It's like, honest to God, it is just physical Netflix. You walk into Netflix, you pick a movie, you pay like $9 for it, and then you leave. It sucked. But, there were some great things about it. And we're going to talk about some of those things and what it's like to grow up in a blockbuster reality tonight. There truly are... It's such a different culture, and I don't think people understand exactly how different it is living in a world of blockbuster besides living in a world of post-blockbuster, okay? So let's talk about it a little bit. These are three horrifying tales about Blockbuster Video, and they're all true. They all happen. They all happen to me. Let's try it out. So first off, let's level set. What is Blockbuster? Blockbuster, as I said before, is just a storefront where you could buy stuff. It's usually movies. They look like this. You could just walk along any aisle and find tons of movies that you might like and a bunch that you don't. And usually what you would do is you would find, like, 50 movies, but like three of them had a really funny cover. I remember Killer Clowns from Outer Space always was like, I need to watch that when I'm older. And then I never did. As a kid, as you go down it, you really have no idea what you're looking at. But there were just shelves and shelves and shelves of releases, right? So many movies. However, the coolest thing was the video game section. Obviously, right? They got games everywhere, all over the place. And I actually could not find a picture of Blockbuster with a game shelf from when I was a kid. The oldest thing I could find was PS2 and GameCube, seriously. I don't know how. I couldn't find anything of like NES, Genesis, Super Nintendo. I couldn't find anything. It doesn't exist, it's lost media. But they had a bunch of game shelves. This is where we're gonna op operate for tonight. I hope you understand because I can't find anything older for some reason. Uh, I, even though this is not my gener- Well, it kind of is my generation, but, you know, I had more stuff when it was a little bit earlier, so. So, you've got the movie shelves, you've got the game shelves, and then, of course, you also have the counter, right? Where you go up, you give the guy your money, and you rent the things. And you can usually rent stuff for, like, I don't know, a week? I don't remember the specifics. I never bought it. My mom did. Thanks, mom. So, I've got three stories to tell you about Blockbuster. The first is a normal blockbuster day, just like any other. It's a nice summer evening, I think it's a Friday, and I'm strolling in to blockbuster, as you so often do. Wait, where's the... Here it is. I'm just strolling in. Do it. There he is. Strolling in, like usual. Now, I look older here, but I'm actually eight years old, okay? I'm eight. I'm eight here. I'm a tall eight-year-old. But I'm eight years old, and I walk into the Blockbuster, and there's a lot of buzz going on for a certain games console that's just come out. You may have heard of it. And I look over at the other end of the store, and I see it. A Nintendo 64. Oh my god. This just came out. It was literally this one, by the way. This was literally the display. It has like a little sorry pop shell there, and then it also has like a TV, right? It's amazing. And I see it on the other end of the store. I'm like, holy shit. I've never seen that before. And what is playing on the N64? But Super Mario. Of course! Their flagship game, Super Mario 64 on the cab. This is heaven for me. This is the coolest thing that's ever happened to me at this point in my life. It is incredible. Now, 
a little bit of level setting. I need you guys to understand something before we go much further, okay? I grew up on the NES. The NES has two buttons, a D-pad, a start, and a select. And you never use the select button. The select button is there as a joke. Two buttons and a D-pad. This is great. All games are simple, easy to play. You understand exactly what to do. It's amazing. After the NES came the Super Nintendo. Well, 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 Nintendo. Going a little crazy, aren't we? You got four buttons on the face and two shoulders? Wow. Pretty complicated, right? But you can still understand it. The game mostly made sense. Then they dropped this. I can't tell you what it's like to see this for the first time. I can't explain this to you. It doesn't make sense when you see it for the first time. There are yellow buttons, which are kind of like the face buttons, but there's four of them. Then there's A and B, which is kind of like Nintendo. You've got L and R, and then your finger goes around and- Oh, Jesus, there's a Z button. You think it's like a, a, like a, like a cyst on your finger, and then you realize, oh, that's on the controller. And then this vaguely phallic thing in the middle. I'm not touching that. A big red start button. And a D-pad over here. A lot of nonsense on this controller, right? And when you see it in the magazine, it's not the same as seeing it in person. It's a little different. So anyway, now that you understand, I'm here, I'm ready to play Super Mario 64 for the first time, okay? I step up to the cab, I'm ready to go, I get my hands on the controller, and of course, I'm holding it like this. I'm not touching that. I don't know what it does. Maybe it'll shut down the system. I'm not gonna do that. So what happens? I try to play Super Mario 64 with the D-pad. And I'm pushing the buttons and nothing is happening. I don't know if you've played Mario 64, but the D-pad doesn't do anything at all. A clear misstep on Nintendo's part. So, I start getting frustrated. What the hell is this? Why is it not moving? I guess the game is broken. I don't know what's going on. I'm starting to get really mad. My mom says, honey, we're about to leave. I'm checking out now. My rage begins to build. The only thing I can do is jump. The big blue button does that. Nothing else happens. I can punch. The buttons seem to do something. But I can't move. I'm just doing this. I haven't seen a single enemy. There's no music. There's a castle in front of me. I can't do anything. Anger gives way to desperation. Please, for the love of God, let me inside the castle. All I want is to get inside that castle. You have to understand, this is literally where I was. I was outside of the pipe at the very beginning of the game. I can't do anything. I'm stuck. There's nothing I can do. Mom is now leaving the door. She says, honey, we have to go home. It's time to leave. Desperation leads to madness. I've gone crazy. I'm losing my fucking mind. This is all I've wanted for months. I wanted so badly to play this. I followed it in all the magazines. I saw it at E3. I am so angry. I never got to move Super Mario. Nothing ever happened. He did nothing besides jump 80 times and I cried on the car ride home. It was the saddest day of my life. I left with some bullshit N64 game, or sorry, Super Nintendo game that I didn't even want. It was probably some sh I don't know, Goof Troop. I was furious, because my mind wasn't clear. I couldn't pick a good game. I had lost it. Worst day of my life. And in case you're wondering, Coney, is that a real photo of you? Uh, I can confirm that yes, it is actually, hold on. I accidentally closed it. We'll cut this out of the out of the YouTube, but hold on. 
I found this photo and I, 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 I had to use it. This is me at Ocean City, Maryland, about to beat the hell out of my cousin. Yeah, that's me. I was furious. That's him on my back. I was mad as hell. I'm about to beat his ass. Yeah, I'm about to Batista bomb him. It's a real photo. Real photo. He really thought he could take me. I went beast mode times 2,000. Yeah. Anyway, worst day of my life. It's my first story, and it's a true one. Our second story takes place a few years before, actually. Let me set the scene. I'm seven years old now. Wait, seven? Might be six. I'm seven. Damn, that's crazy. They went all the way from Genesis to N64 so quickly. Damn, it's weird to see that jump because you don't see that anymore. Anyway, I was a certain age, right? And Cody is here perusing the shelves, as you do. And he wonders, where am I? Going through the store, trying to find the right game to take home and rent. And I'm looking at all the shelves, and I can't quite find the right game. There are a lot of games on the shelf. Some of them speak to me, some of them don't. Some of the box arts are okay, but I read that they sucked. But then I see it. Wait. Enhance. Earthworm Gym 2. Oh my god, they made another one. Oh man! I couldn't believe it. I loved Earthworm Jim 1. It was one of my favorite games. It was so goofy, and it was fun to play, and it was a little hard. I was entranced. Couldn't believe it. Happiest I've ever been. So, of course, what do I do? I grab it off the shelf, and I slam that bitch on the counter. I say, one, please. And I get ready to take it home for a week of fun and action. Okay? So I throw it up. My mom pays for it, obviously. I didn't have a job yet. I was seven. Come on. <laughs> and there's one little practice that you guys might not know about that was unique to Blockbuster. You don't really get this anywhere else. And actually, you can't do it anymore because of some industry practices. But the best thing in the world to do at this time, once you were bringing a new game home, is read the manual in the car. Good lord, there was nothing more exciting. When you had the game and you could read the manual, read all the stuff that you were about to do, usually what would happen is we would go to the Blockbuster and then right down the road is the grocery store. And my mom would step in there for cigarettes or milk or whatever we needed, some eggs. And I would just sit in the car and I would read the shit out of that manual. So excited to play whatever I was going to. It was so exciting. So I'm reading through the manual of Earthworm Jim 2. Just absolutely delighted. So we get home, and I start playing Earthworm Jim 2. Now this is a revelation of a game, okay? This blew my little mind. I'm on the Genesis. I've never seen anything like this. There's like an action game, and then there's also like a game where like puppies have to cross a thing, and, and you have to like bounce them on a marshmallow. And then, like, there's another part with, like, falling grandmas, where you have to, like, go up the thing. And there's cows everywhere. Cows every- it's so funny. It's the funniest game I've ever played. I am dying. It is so goddamn funny. I love this game. A week passes, and it's time to return the game. And, uh, the game, of course, is still in my Genesis. I never put it anywhere. I had it locked in. However... The manual has somehow disappeared. I don't know where it went. Now, this might not seem like a big deal, but Blockbuster, if you couldn't find any piece of what they gave you, you had to buy the whole game. So this is a $60 mistake. My mom is a single mom trying to make ends meet. I've made a terrible error. So I try looking through my room, but my room looks like this? 
Uh, I don't know where the fuck this is. I have no idea. It's gone. I start looking around. I can't find it anywhere. I look under these shelves, nothing. I look under this box, nothing. And every time I move something, I just put it somewhere else. And then I have to pick it back up because I forget that I've already looked there. I'm scrambling all over the house. It's 3 p.m. on a, on a, I think it's a Saturday. And I know we have to go return it tonight. My mom, who's working currently, she's working a weekend shift to try to make stuff work, right? She's about to be home in like an hour or two. I can't find this manual anywhere. Eventually I give up, and what do I do? Continue playing Earthworm Jim for the Sega Genesis. Cause hey, how can I search if I'm stressed? I need to relax. I need to chill out. This is too stressful. I can't do this. So I continue playing the game. Until I hear a car pull up in the driveway. Oh god. I realize how much time I've lost to this game. And the only sensible thing to do at this point is to hide in the closet and hope she doesn't find me. My mom comes home and she says, Honey, are you ready? Because this was our routine. We always went, you know, we took the game back to Blockbuster and then we ran some errands. Honey, where are you? I know she's about to come into the room. I'm not very subtle, right? I don't, I'm not, this is barely big enough for me, this closet. Zach, are you ready to go? I start to lose it. I'm losing my mind because I don't know what I can do. She's gonna find me. Why did I think I could escape? She's gonna come into my room at some point. There's nowhere for me to go. I come out of the room and I just say, yeah. She says, are you ready to return Earthworm Jim 2? I said, yeah, I guess. She said, what's wrong? I said, I can't find the instruction manual. She's mad. She's really mad. Let me be clear. This is not the first time it happened. This is just the first time this was this big of a deal. She's furious. We looked for another hour and a half. And we could not find it. With my mom. I thought she'd be able to find it. I thought she... You know, adults are supposed to be able to do that shit. We looked for an hour and a half. Never found it. Wasn't in the car. Wasn't in the house. Wasn't in the bathroom. Wasn't in the garage. It was nowhere. And really, there's no... Uh, fulfilling outcome to this story. There's no satisfying conclusion. We never found that fucking manual. Uh, it never popped back up. Until a few years later, when we go to move, and that son of a bitch is just sitting there on the floor. Who left it? How did that get there? Who put the Earthworm Jim 2 manual on the floor? I certainly didn't do it. I... I still, to this day, have no idea how this thing managed to get back on my floor. You didn't see it for years? I don't know where it came from. It literally just... Because I had cleaned my room so many times during that period. Like, you gotta think... Like, I was... I was... It was so many years since we moved, and I had cleaned my room thoroughly. I went everywhere. I couldn't find it. And there it was, just staring me right in the face. As we went to move. My mom ended up paying $60, and I didn't get to go to Blockbuster for two months. Damn, Mom. Parents just don't understand. They truly don't. But I did have a complete copy of Earthworm Jim 2 that I got to keep. Thanks, Mom. Our third and final story involves a little game that I don't know if any of you have heard of. This isn't even a bit. This isn't me about to reveal a popular game. There was a game on the Nintendo 64. It was called Chameleon Twist 2. Chameleon Twist 2 is a sequel to the critically acclaimed game Chameleon Twist 1. Now, as I said before, I was an astute gamer, okay? 
I was very keen on the latest trends. I read all the magazines. I read EGM. I read Nintendo Power. I read Tips and Tricks. I even read Game Pro. I read all of these magazines. I had subscriptions to each and every one of them. And all of them were in complete agreement. Chameleon Twist 2 is the must-play game of the summer. You absolutely need to play this game. This was 1998, okay? So I think I'm about 10, maybe 9 years old, something like that. But Chameleon Twist 2, 2 is all the rage. People are going nuts in the street for this game. I said, I have to play this. I need to do this. And lucky me, Blockbuster had just unveiled a brand new promotion. I actually couldn't find anything about this on the internet. But I found something similar. There was the Blockbuster Summer Game Pass. And dear lord, viewer, if this wasn't the coolest thing I'd ever seen. Oh my god. The Blockbuster Summer Game Pass essentially allowed you to have two games out at any time. Any two games you want. And you would bring the two games back, and you could switch them both out, or you could bring one game in and trade it out. You paid like a flat fee, like 20 bucks a month, and you could come in and out as much as you wanted. It was insane. Of course I jumped on that. I was the most excited I had ever been. We get the Summer Game Pass, and I am just, I am chuffed to bits to go to my Blockbuster and pick up Chameleon Twist 2. So we drive over to the Blockbuster. I go to the shelves. And what do I see? One game that intrigued my interest. And that's a game known as Pokemon Stadium. I was very excited for this game. Now, I was a big Gen 1-er. I loved Pokemon Red and Blue. I saw it on the shelf. I said, I gotta get that. But remember, I had two games available. And I wanted to play... This was really... This was the appetizer, right? Chameleon Twist 2 is the main course, as I'm sure you'll all agree. That was the game of the summer. That's the hot shit. So I look around all the shelves. There's no Chameleon Twist 2. Anywhere. I can't find it. It's not on the new releases shelf. It's not on the N64 shelf. It's nowhere at all. I said, Mom... We gotta go to another Blockbuster. We drive five miles in the other direction to go to Saverna Park's Blockbuster. They don't have it. We go to Millersville. They don't have it. We go to Crofton. They don't have it. And then we go to the worst place you can go. And if you live in Maryland, you know what this is. We go to Glen fucking Burnie. Glen Burnie is a rat's nest of a city. You only go to Glen Burnie if you want to buy a car or die. Glen Burnie is a disaster. You don't want to go to Glen Burnie. But we went there. We went there because we said, I need to play this game. You had to go so far out of your way to get here. They didn't have it. I even went to Hollywood Video. It sickens me to say this. But there was a Hollywood Video a few miles away and I said, I gotta do something. I went to Hollywood Video. Of course, they didn't have it either. Which is crazy, because it was such a popular game. And then... I'm totally out of ideas. I said, there's nothing more we can do. Nobody's gonna have Chameleon Twist 2. But my mom points out... There's one more blockbuster we haven't hit. Oh, right. The Odenton Blockbuster. The Odenton Blockbuster always looked like this. As you see this, the store closing thing, this isn't like because they went out of business. They just looked like this all the time. The store was perpetually underwater. It was always bankrupt. This is just how it looked at all moments. And I'm like, I guess, Mom. I know they're not going to have it. This store sucks. They don't have anything. Why would they? I mean, they, I'm sure they'll have some games, but they have no copies of anything I ever want to play. Why would they have Chameleon Twist 2? But I guess we'll give it a shot, right? We go to the Odenton Blockbuster. 
I run up to the counter immediately. Give me a copy of Chameleon Twist 2 or go to hell! The worker is taken aback. Whoa, little kid. The hell is your problem? He doesn't realize that I've been out for three hours without ice cream, Rita's, or McDonald's. This is the worst day of my life. He says, let me check. He types on the machine. Uh, I'm sorry, we actually don't have a copy of the game. We have one copy, but it was taken out six days ago. Six days ago? That means you're, it's going to come back the day after tomorrow. He's like, yeah, we're not going to get it. I'm so depressed. I'm the saddest I've ever been. We go to leave the store. Before we hear a sound ring out across the entire location. <laughs> what was that? Dear viewer, I've neglected to tell you something about Blockbuster. They had a quick drop bin. The quick drop bin was essentially where you would put games that you rented out if you didn't want to go back into the store. You could drop things in there. This young fellow is returning a copy of Super Mario Galaxy, right? You could put games in there. And as a seasoned blockbuster goer myself, I said, Oh my god. That could be it. That had happened to me before, where the thing that I wanted came right in. I asked the clerk, Can you check out what that was? He said, Sure. He goes to check the drop box. And inside of it, do you know what he found? A copy of 1080 Snowboard. Yeah. And also Chameleon Twist 2! They had the Summer Pass 2! Let's go! Everybody had the Summer Game Pass, and this kid was returning both of his games. I rented it out, and I didn't really play it, because it got really old after an hour or two. I played much more Pokemon Stadium. The reviews were wrong. But, it showed me how much my mom loved me, and it was an absolutely thrilling experience. And those are three horrifyingly true tales about Blockbuster Video. Yeah, my mom rules. Yeah, she's the best. My mom is the best. She's great. Yeah, she's done everything great. Yeah, it's been good. Also, this is a side thing. I didn't really have a story enough for this. Uh, so back in the day, they had these Pokemon Snap Machines, right? Um, they had these uh, Pokemon Snap Machines where you could bring your card in. And they could, uh, you could, like, po post out pictures of them. Like Polaroids, right? So you put in your, like, save data and whatever. And this blew my mind, this technology. So this is a picture of what it looked like, but this is a higher quality picture. It's insane. It's like this big cab that would, you know, sort of spit out things. So I spent some time with this, and, uh, I walked in, and I saw there were, like, pictures still in the machine ones. And I had played Pokemon Snap before, but I didn't spend that much time with it. I rented it, like, over, I don't know, a month ago or something. And I beat the game, but somebody had left a picture in the Pokemon Snap machine. And I go over to look at it, just curious what their picture looked like. And they had a Mew. They had a picture of a Mew. I had never seen that. I didn't know that you could see Mew. I had no idea. Mew is at the very end of the game. If you get everything else, you could get Mew. Blew my mind. I rented it out that day, and then I went and got Mew. But it was like somebody was leaving me a little treat. A little trinket to be able to attach to and, and, and get the game again. Maybe it was marketing. I don't know. Some sort of undercover guerrilla marketing. It was amazing. Yeah. That was uh, back in the day. Pokemon Snap did that. It was fun. <laughs> you looked under the truck. It's like in this little thing. 
I can't believe that they did this. It's like a little station where you could like post out pictures, but the pictures were so small. They were like little Polaroids. It was adorable. Very cute. Very cute little trinkets. Anyway, those are my blockbuster stories. I forgot to do a subscribe thing in the middle, but who cares? Good enough. I've been wanting to tell those stories forever. I have a lot more, but those three are my favorites. Um, and right now, Blockbuster is like, I see it all over the place. I'm like, ah, now's a good time, you know? I guess I'll just record one separately. Thank you for watching the movie. Hey, if you enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe. I'm going to do a lot more story time videos soon. You guys seem to like the last one. And I have stories for years. And some of them you like, and some of them you might skip. But at least you'll see them, right? Subscribe to the channel. Perfect. Done. Man. Dude, I love Blockbuster. Oh my god. Blockbuster was the coolest shit of my life. Like, going to Blockbuster every weekend was the coolest thing ever. Can we... Coney Rage? <laughs> Dude, I, yeah, I, I realized that I'd never showed people this picture of me. Yeah, this is real. I was so mad. There really is something to the experience of going to a store, flipping through the selection, and taking it home. You know? The tangibility of it. Haven't you told the Mario 64 story somewhere before? Yeah, I've told it on here a bunch. But never with this much, um, gravitas, you know? Never had them, uh, explain to the YouTube fellas. Dude, reading the manual was the coolest shit in the world. It was very fun. All right. <coughs> I've told the manual story and the um, Mario 64 story. I've never, never told the Chameleon Twist 2 story. So that's new for you Twitch friends. Just for you guys. Yeah, it's like an angry Wojak, almost. Yeah, this this transcends time. Make it an emote? I, I want to make this an emote, and I want to make Sax's painting an emote. That'd be nice. I realized that I never made that an emote. Can we hear non-game stories? No. Never. If you want to hear non-game stories, you have to show up on Mario 64 nights. Which actually is tonight. We're going to be playing that. I have a bunch of those. High school stories. And can we get FFZ emotes on the TV again? I guess. I, mean, I don't know why they're not working. They should be. Alright. Uh, before we do Mario 64, though, I got one more thing we got to do. What time is it? 7.52. Okay. Time for the mystery game. We're going to be playing a new game. Ring. Ring. Please be League. <laughs> Imagine. It's not League of Legends. Come on. That's my mystery game. You guys have never seen it before? All right, hold on. 1080 snowboarding? No, not quite. Okay. You never had a 3DS before? Nope. Not once ever. Never owned one. Oh! Oh! All right. We're going to play a little game. Maybe you guys have heard of it, maybe not. Uh, but I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to see how we how we like it. Let me see. Um, Thank you, Ecompton. The best part of Chameleon Twist 2 was the bowling minigame. Yeah. 
I dug the bowling mini game a lot. I was a big fan. Big fan, big fan. Disney Skate Adventure? I, I played the shit out of that too, actually. If you can believe it. Yeah. No, I spent a lot of time with that. All right, hold on. Come on. You should play every movie turned video game? Maybe. All of them? Every single one? Okay. Okay, so that's how it works. Got it, got it. Okay. Okay. Let's start it up. Let's see how this goes. I have no idea. Let's try it. <laughs> Fellas, there's a game that I've heard of that I've been sort of circling around for a while now. It's something that I haven't tried, but I've seen on YouTube, and I didn't want to spoil for myself. It features one of my favorite characters in all of fiction. Now, a lot of people have said this guy has never been able to have his own game, but I challenge that notion right now because today we're going to take a look <laughs> at Waluigi's Taco Stand. Now, in case you don't know, Waluigi's Taco Stand is basically a mod for Mario 64 where you make tacos as Waluigi. It's true, yeah. Yeah, that's what you do. That's it. That's all. That's the whole game. I'm just going to make tacos for, for my friend, friends and enemies in Waluigi's Taco Stand. I don't know anything about this game. I legitimately have no idea. This is the first time I've seen it. So let me just get rid of the... Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay. Let's give this a shot, I guess. I don't... I actually have no idea what I'm in for. If this gets vulgar, I just... I don't... I can't be held accountable. There's so many was. <laughs> I have heard this is, like, extensive. Like, they did the whole thing, you know? Oh, look! Waluigi is at the casino. Wonder what he's up to this time. <laughs> it appears that he is angry at the slots. I'm ruined. That was Wario. Wario said that. Hey, Waluigi, your rent is due. You can't pay up after you've lost all of your and Wario's money at the casino. You have to work it off. I've got a job for you. Why don't you work at my taco stand? Follow me when you're ready for work. Wait, this guy, oh, he's like a landlord and owns the taco stand? Now that's disposable income. Is this his dog? He has a pet. He has a bunk bed. He has bombs? How did I get in here? I got in this house and then walked through. What? Is this his? This Koopa hates Mario and Luigi. This is so much effort. Oh god, you can bump into Okay, you can bump into stuff. Oh that's nice. He has a nice little plant. I don't know what's going on over here. I'm gonna assume that's the lighting. That's the house lighting. Yeah. Oh god, what rank taco amateur. Okay. Well there I am. Okay. I even have the sombrero. I'm going the extra mile. This is the taco stand. You'll be taking customers orders. Try your best to satisfy them. If you put together all the right ingredients, the customers will be happy. Make all customers happy to advance. It's a lot of customers. All right. Is anybody helping me? Where's the kitchen? Is there anything here? I'd like a big tasty taco. Only cheese and beef, please. Welcome to the taco fields. Collect all the ingredients your customers ask for, and then serve the taco. Uh, okay, he said beef and cheese, right? I don't remember. Oh my god. Okay. I didn't think I would have to rustle it up myself. It's all freshly made, I guess. Can I do a side? Oh, I can do a side flip? Did he really? They really remade all this. He can even crawl like a baby. Oh. 
Oh my god. Do I have to- are they neat? Oh my god, he is. Wait, I, I got bacon. They don't want bacon, right? What's that? Is that cheese? Yeah. There, beef and cheese. Beef and cheese, right? Right? <laughs> the zoom in. I love the establishing shot. Oh, I think I made them happy. Okay, two more, two more, two more. Lettuce and beef. Okay. I know beef comes from Goombas. Where does lettuce come from? Bacon is pork? Oh, no. Are you sure? Do you mean, like, in real life? Or, like... What did they... They said... They said lettuce and cheese, right? What did they... I don't remember what they said. Lettuce and, and beef? Lettuce? So Goombas make... No tomatoes. Goombas make... Bacon. <laughs> the platforming is... is so, oh, I bet the Chain Chomp is a cow. Because he's like a... Yeah, he's like a cow. I'm gonna free him? Is that what I do? Oh, no. Ooh! No touching. Do all the Goombas have different... That's bacon. Bro, it's all bacon. That's... That's definitely beef. That's gotta be beef. That's just beef. Yeah. Yeah. Beef is all the same. It's all the same animal here. Yeah, that counts. Yeah. Hello, I'll take one healthy taco with lettuce, tomato, and mushroom. No beef? I'm putting beef in there. I'm giving this dude beef. We need some protein, brother. Right, you said lettuce, tomato, and, ch and mushrooms? Yeah. No, he needs some meat. Lettuce. He's so nimble. Why can't I just pre-prepare the ingredients? You can't... This is why these places go out of business. This isn't sustainable. You can't do this all the time for every customer. Imagine you had to wrangle up an animal for every single time. Alright, I gave him some... He's fine. He'll like it. This taco is disgusting! Oh. He tasted the meat. I didn't know if he could tell. My bad. My bad. Do turtles eat meat? Lettuce, tomato, mushroom. Got it. Okay, he hated it. Tried to red pill him on meat, but... What do turtles eat? His cholesterol is through the roof? I'm trying to help him. He's got to get more used to it, you know? Mushrooms. <laughs> There's fall damage, but no damage. Let's serve the taco. Done. I am now a taco enthusiast. Oh my god, what a line. There's a monkey? Hi, I'd like a taco with only fish. Oh, that's easy. Congratulations, you've upped your taco rank and advanced to the next level. Keep improving. Yeah, sure. No, that's easy. Fish. <laughs> got his ass. Oh my god. Got a swan dive headbutt. Oh my god, they did Waluigi swimming. There you go. One entire fish. What do the monkeys want? Coconut and coconut. Can you put that in the taco? What's this? Oh shit! Now I'm moving. Give me the beef. Get Why is it in the air? What? 
Come on, give me the beef, please. Waluigi, Walu 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 you're so bad at your job. Done. Sir. How fast can you run this game? I feel like this would be mad fast to run. If you just get the shit really fast, you know? Does he want the same thing? Hello, please don't judge me for this, but I'd like a taco full of garlic. Oh, no, I'm judging, brother. I am judging out of my head. I've ne- Ugh. Do you think it's hard or soft? Where is the garlic? Where is garlic usually? There has to be garlic at the top of this, right? Garlic! Here we go. There are six garlics. You wanted it! Six full cloves of garlic in- Oh my god, he loved it. He ate it. He ate it. He's gone. He ate the whole taco. Oh, Jesus. Just a garlic taco shell. It's like Mexican garlic bread. One taco with cheese and beef. Okay. Cheese and beef. Cheese and beef. Cheese and beef. Cheese and beef. Where's cheese? Oh, the mouse has cheese. What? Wait, I've seen that mouse before. Oh, he's dead. Okay. I was gonna say, I've seen that mouse before, right? I like that mouse. Oh god, he jumped it. Why is it so low? Speed run record is 8 minutes 50 seconds. I could beat that, I bet. Probably. Here we go, I'll move it up. I'll put it above. There we go. Okay, now we're good. I feel like that wouldn't be that hard. Thank you, Rafa. Like, how many people are running this game, you know? Sounds about as easy as getting, like, the Hitman world record, you know? It's not that hard. It's only, like, two people. Cheese and beef. Good. Okay. We got it. Dun, 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 dun. One complete taco. Coconut, fish, beef, cheese, and garlic. Okay, see a doctor. Coconut, beef, cheese... Why can't I, I, like, I, can I write it down? Cheese? Oh my god, he gave me three cheese. Coconut, beef, fish. D help. Chat, help. Coconut, beef. <laughs> help, please. Fish? Do I have everything? I just need ch uh, garlic. Right? Which grows up here. Wait, they said onion? They better not have said onion. I'll be so sad. Garlic? I think I did it. Right? Ooh! A taco connoisseur! Okay. God, word is spreading far and wide. This isn't my taco stand, by the way. Lettuce, cheese, and beef. Easy. Standard. He's already raring to get it. Is he... What do you think this does? Do you think this gives me wings? I, I don't know why I thought it wouldn't. I did not think that would be a wing cap. Alright. I, I thought it wouldn't be... Can I actually... I can fly. For tacos? Of all things? Okay. Never- I don't want to run this anymore. I don't- this sounds too complicated now. What does he give? Lettuce? Lettuce. It was- it was cheese, lettuce, beef? I think? I hope. I hope I have it right. I actually worked at a barbecue stand for a while. It was sort of like this. Except without, like, you know... You didn't have to rustle it up, but, like, you know, taking orders and giving them food. Fuck. 
get so laggy. This is crazy. Oh my god. Where's the... Okay, I need beef, right? This game pushes the N64 to its limits. Yeah, I think I need the uh, expansion pack. Dude, do I have to kill the pokey? He has be- What is that? Cactus? The Womp is absolutely going to eat the cactus, yeah. The Womp eats cactus, no question. Done. Pepper? Oh, no, I think you're right. It's like a jalapeno or something. Good call, good call, good call. <laughs> the line never ends. Lettuce, tomato, cat. He wants cactus. It is a cactus. Yeah, so it's not a pepper. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> that noise when he goes. Oh! Dude, they all have to wait for him. Like, when he does this, they all have to sit there waiting for him to get all the ingredients. Buy a freezer. Okay, lettuce, tomato, cactus. I think the lettuce is on the plant at the bottom, right? It doesn't matter, though, because he's really fast. I, uh, I guess, but you don't see him cooking it. I assume that he has to cook it. I don't think you're putting raw meat in the taco. I don't even think a womp would eat that. Thank you, Lifetime. He put in a falling sound? What? Okay. Got it. Wait, am I feeding the Goomba the Goomba? I didn't think of that. Oh, no. Cactus tomato cheese. Got it. Okay. Cac cactus tomato cheese. Lots of cactus. I mean, if I give him one cactus, what's he? He's not gonna be mad about it. He'll be fine. Who's gonna know? You know? Let me in. Cactus. 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 I don't know about you, but that happens to me all the time. I feel like Chipotle can't work if it's like a delivery thing. Because people are always going to short you unless you're in the store to call them out. I've had this belief for a while. I don't know if you guys order Chipotle right now, but if you do, you probably get less portion, right? That's because they're not scared of you. Like, they need to be afraid of you jumping the counter and beating their ass if they try to short you. There's, there's like a social contract at every Chipotle. You can't, you can't short me on this. You know? Got it. Okay. If you, if you dare to challenge me on my meat portions, I'm hopping this counter and putting your face on the front. That is the implied, that's the implication when you walk into a Chipotle. Man, I hate chicken. One taco with only chicken. Oh, he's gonna eat <laughs> That's pretty funny. He wants to eat every chicken. I'll give it up. I'll give it up. That's one way to handle it. He wants to eat every chicken on the planet so nobody else can eat. Wait, is that a flying thing? I think I saw a flying shadow. Is that a flying chicken? No. Where is chicken? Wait, he's up there. I, I definitely see a shadow. Oh my god, it is. Alright. It's the fucking vulture. Okay. I have to boing him. <laughs> Watch out for me, I guess. I'm on a mission to kill every chicken. Watch out! Yeah. 
Waluigi is driven, dude. Also, this isn't even for me. I forgot about that. I'm just doing this for, like, rent payment. Because I'm low. This kind of sucks. This isn't even, like, disposable income. I'm doing so much work. Do what you gotta do? I guess. Poor Waluigi. He's trying to make ends meet. Where's the highest point? Where do I jump off? I guess this is it. No way. Where is he? I, dude, I hate flying in this game. Please, watch out for me! I feel kind of bad for that. Is that chicken? Oh, no. Well, I've slain one chicken. Well on our way to killing all of them. I hope there weren't two. Okay, we're good. We're good. That felt bad. I don't know how I feel. That was like the last chicken on the earth. I want to crush something. Give me a taco with chicken and beef and leave some bone. Oh. Chicken and beef and bone. Alright, some chicken. This actually isn't that hard. The last guy's gonna want one of everything. I'm pretty sure. I thought I killed every chicken. I guess that one had a baby. That one was just hatching. And now I gotta go kill it. Circle of life, you know? Fuck. Whoop. So he wanted cactus too, right? It was it was I hope he wanted cactus. Or was it chicken and... No? Okay, I, I imagine that because I thought before he... Okay, my bad, my bad. Dude, it is... I don't know if I just have streamer brain. Or is it, like, hard to remember what they want? Am I stupid? Oh, my God. I just forget shit. This is so hard. Streamer brain? It really is, dude. Like, you don't realize how bad it is until you realize how bad your short-term memory is. Like, your short-term memory goes to shit if you're a streamer. And I've been doing it for, like, seven years. So, like, how bad do you think it is for me? My frontal lobe just looks like oatmeal. What I'm doing right now is akin to smoking. I'm smoking, but with my brain. For you. Please drop a sub. Please. What? Oh, I never got the wink. Okay. Please drop a sub. Especially on, if you're on YouTube, because it's free. I'm going to need some kind of procedure done later in life. We'll enjoy this while it lasts, and Twitch will be dead in a few years. So just, if you sub now, you'll know that you did the right thing while you still could. Please, for the love of God. I'm gonna need help. <laughs> Please, sub. Please. <laughs> Dude, it's gotten so bad. I'll literally think something. And then I can feel it leave my brain. I can feel it fly out of my ear. It, 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 sound, it goes... It's like a bag of flour hitting the ground. God damn it. I would I would kill chickens if it was this fun. Oh no. No, no, no. Go back up. Jesus Christ. Good. I'm almost done. Get the beef first? I think I already did, right? Didn't I get the beef? I actually don't know this. I did get the beef. Okay. Alright. 
That's the other thing. I could be... This is so laggy. I should have just emulated this. This is so bad. My N64 is about to burn all of its circuits. Did I not hit it? Did I hit it? This is the trickiest chicken. Got him. Good. Got it. Come on. How many tacos are there? 15? I'm getting close to the end, I think. Oh, there he- Oh, he walks away! They walk away? I haven't noticed that. One generic taco, lettuce, tomato, beef. Easy peasy. Thank you, Zach Tekka. Lettuce, taco, beef? Lettuce- Lettuce, tomato, beef. Lettuce, tomato, beef, taco. Taco, taco. Lettuce, tomato, beef. Lettuce, tomato, beef. Lettuce, tomato, beef. I have the lettuce. I need the tomato and the beef. 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 There's the tomato. Where's the beef? Get the beef. Get the beef. Get the beef. Goomba beef. Ooh, I'm pretty fast now. That's the last taco. I win. Right? Taco Professor? Oh, wait. There's one more. This dude's huge, though. He's gonna want everything. He's gonna want several tacos. Spider legs? Spider legs, beef, spicy sauce, eyeballs, and bully horns. Do we sell that? Oh, my God. Okay. Spider legs... Beef, spicy sauce, eyeballs, bully. I should have ridden the dinosaur. Will I die? I can't die. Yeah, I can't. If I if I can't, is Waluigi immortal? Cool. Let me go kill this baby. Bro, stop. Bully. I have to get, I have to hurt myself to get it. Okay, got, got that part. Alright, I need... Is that guy, like, going to me? Do you guys see... Is Dory, like, pathing to me at all times? No. He's not suffering. He's fine. He's used to this. This is what it's like wa working a stand. Okay, spider legs... Spicy sauce, eyeballs. Um. Do beef? I've seen no beef. Oh, spicy sauce. <laughs> this poor guy. He's getting his ass burned. All right. This has got to be the last taco, though. For sure. <laughs> Ronnie. <laughs> Beef and eyeballs. Beef and eyeballs. Come on. Fine. I don't know what I got. Eyeball. Eyeball. Did this start as like a creepypasta, by the way? Is this like a Ben Drowned kind of thing? Or... <laughs> like... <laughs> That's what they... <laughs> okay, good, good, okay. Got it. Let me down, please. Dory, where's beef? Do I have to kill Dory? What? Dory? Dory, what are you doing? Oh my god, she's so fast. I should have been riding Dory the whole time. That's her name, right, Dory? Or is it Nessie? I, I always forget. Dory's the one from the Disney movie. Goomba, Goomba, Goomba! Done. Please, God, let this be everything. 
He's leaving. He's leaving. He's walking away. I'm the Taco King. That's my landlord, right? Where's... Yeah, there's nobody there. I win. I win, I win, I win. It's me, Mr. Rent. <laughs> what? An appropriate name for a landlord. It seems you've done a great job serving those tacos. Thanks for your service, Waluigi. This will easily cover your rent. You're a winner. I won! Waluigi win! Yay! Hooray! And that's the importance of getting a job. I hope this has inspired all of you young YouTube viewers to get a job for yourselves. It's fun and it gives you a lot of things that you could spend your money on. Like a subscription to the Coney Twitch, which is only $5 a month. Get a job. Is that it? Is it over? Well, <laughs> it's over now. Okay, yeah. All done. I can't do anything now, by the way. There's no, like, I just beat the game. That's it. Good game. Yeah, good movie. Yeah. Not bad. I have no idea if that's going to make YouTube. I just wanted to play it. Okay. Let's do some Mario runs. Uh, so we're doing Mario runs until 10? 10 o'clock? Then we're doing uh, some uh, tabletop. Oh, Jesus. Hell yeah. Get a job so I can do this. You get a job so I can have fun so you can playing video games. Please. Smiley face. Please. Do your part. Chad, are you doing your part? Mm hmm? Thank you, E. Compton, for the five gifted. Will we ever hit 2,000 subs? <sighs> we'll never hit it. Thank you, Tuna Rupa. Lemmings. Poggers. Dude, I watched that uh, I watched that Chuck E. Cheese Poggers clip again recently. Oh, my God. What a clip. Poggers. <laughs> I love that. Thank you, Zero Striker. Poggers. I love it so much. Thank you, Skylit. All right, let me make sure I don't have a save on here. Let me get the splits up. Lemmings is so good. Hello. Have you played it recently? The game's mad old. What the heck? That game is old and ugly. No, no, it's not good. Relax. You like it because you played it when you were young. That game sucks. Oh, he's Mr. Graphics. Wait, what? Why is my cam like this? Huh? What champ? Did I mess it up? Oh, I know what I did. I know what I did. There we go. So long, Damn, that Mario missed the first throw. Gonna do some Mario runs till about 10 o'clock. 7 p.m. Uh, Pacific is when we're doing. Wait, what? How did. Why is my cam up here now? What? Oh, I see what I did. Ahaha. Uh Ahaha. -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. I always forget how I do this until I do it again later. Whoa. 
Uh-huh. All right. All right. Good luck, everyone. Only a couple runs tonight. Maybe later. Maybe after we do tabletop for a little bit. I don't know. Don't know how long we're going to run tabletop. All right. Good luck, everybody. I hope you find everything that you need. Three, two, one, go. I hope you get enough points to stay happy and healthy. I hope everybody comes out positive somehow. I hope you don't lose any points. I hope you leave with more points than you had when you came in. It's very important to me that everybody makes all the points they can. Except if you doubt. If you doubt, I don't care if you get banned or not. Please leave Twitch immediately. No doubters, please. Doubters will be left behind. Damn, that's actually what they said, isn't it? Oh, was it haters? I think they said haters. Haters will be left behind. I think that was it. Is the game here? Does it go up here? I don't have any time to adjust it. Okay. I hope this works. Good luck, everybody! Good luck, everyone! I hope we win! Oh, no. This is such a bad start. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. At least I didn't go in the water. I didn't go in the water. I didn't go in the water. First run. First run. First run. I did not go in the water. I will never hit first time Lakitu. Never. I don't know if I've ever done that. I don't think I've ever done that. Don't worry, though. I'll hit. I'll hit bomb clip. I'll hit bomb clip. By the way, I have not played since that night. So I am very rusty. We're doing a full run here. So we can practice. Pretty good. Pretty bad. I hit the pole. Can I get a drink for hitting the pole? I got the pole first try. I did not drop the pole. I usually fuck up freeing the bomb. The chomp. Kind of like a bomb. The chomp is just a bob with teeth. And no whip. And a bark. Okay. Womp, swamp, 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 swamps. What do you mean, no? Ooh! <laughs> the movement is crispy. Oh, yes! I can feel it! This is it! This is it! He's looking nice. He's looking nice. He's a good player. He's a good player. One, two, three, four. Four on that one. Oh, God. Do I remember how to do cannonless? I actually don't know. Yes. Yes, I do. It's just... It's been a while. Down. Jump. Left. Left. Punch. Down. Right. Up. And down. And Pagan Ritual complete! Hail Satan! Okay. If I can get Wild Blue first try, I will know that he has blessed me. I never get this. Oh, except for today! Thank you! Thank, thank you! Thank you! It's not your turn yet. It's his turn. Soon. Let me get into Cool Cool Mountain. Oh my god. I'm so slow on, like, the technicals. Like, I'm so slow on the technicals of it. Like, when I have to, like, go to exit without saving or, you know, like... But the movement's okay. What? Why did he do that? He's never done that before. What's his problem? Oh, no. 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 We. Okay. Okay. My bad. My bad, everybody. 
I thought it'd be fun. Here we go. I need two more in a minute. My bad, everybody. I just lost 11k? Bet smarter. It's my first run. You really thought I was gonna hit that? I can barely hit that if I'm if I'm totally focused. If I'm on at root. Which you can get at root-users.com. Whoop! Whoa! <laughs> okay. Hell yeah. I'm looking good. I'm not looking bad. I've got some holes in my game, but right now it's going okay. It's going okay. Oh, God. When were the greens, by the way? This run is supposed to be all green up until Bowser 3, but I'm not getting greens. So... It's a little scary. Oh, no. I'm supposed to have greens right now. No! I fucked my split. Oh, well. Okay. Whatever. I hit the button because I thought I was hitting the star. Oh. Okay. I... Okay. I... Okay. Press start to play. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I knew it was going to happen at some point. My hands feel stiff. They're stiff. They're stiff. They're stiff. They're stiff. Oh my god. They're stiff. Okay. Do your stretches? I actually, yeah. I think I might need to. It's just been a while, okay? It's been I did save and quit. I did save and quit. I did save and quit. No, you're right. I did save and quit. Not not save and quit. I did save and quit. <sighs> if I can get the basement with greens, I'm good. If I can get the basement with greens, I am set for life. Okay. Come on. Hello. Okay, okay. You know what? Dear Mario, I think it's a believer's run. I do. I think this is it. I think I got the lag of two. I think I got the bomb clip. I'm warmed up. I now have the movement down. It took one run to sort of calibrate and get my thumb in the correct position. But now I think I'm ready. Good luck to everyone, especially the believers. You are the backbone of this channel. You are the first thing I think about when I wake up, up in the morning, and the last thing I think about when I go to bed. Thank you for your support, believers. This one is for you. I didn't believe anything that I just said. I didn't mean any of that to be kind of weird for me to say. That run was never going to work out. That run was never going to work out. I believed and you lied to me. Thanks for the sub. Yeah. That should teach you a lesson. I'm a streamer on Twitch. Okay? Come on. I'll say anything to get you to sub. I'll say anything to get your $5. Like this. That I think this time, if I could just get one sub, I can guarantee a believer. Payout. I'm telling you. If I could get one sub, I will hit this skip absolutely. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. Well, then I'm going to mess up. I'm going to... Thank you, Watched Up is... Watch this. Watch this. This is for you. This is for you. If I hit it now, that'd be very embarrassing. If I, if I couldn't make it work. Okay. Could I get banned for that? For lying about... I'll definitely hit this and then not hit. Oh God! For toss! No. Okay. Okay. I. Uh, you know. Please don't send this anywhere. Don't send this to Twitch, please. Don't clip it. I'm turning off clips. I'm deleting all my clips. I'm deleting all of them. 
This is the last stream we'll ever do. Oh my god. Okay. Don't tell Twitch. Do not call up DJ Wheat. Please. Please. I'll hit the next one, though. I'll definitely hit the next one. For sure. This next one is for you. For the believers! For the believers! Oh! You're welcome. You're welcome. You're, I told you I would do it. I told you I would do it. The last one I messed up on purpose. I wanted to test you. It was to test your belief. I'm God and you're Job. Put all your points on the line for me if you love me so much. What the fuck? Okay, I don't know what that was, but... Big payout for the believers. There are times on this stream that you will be tested. The key is to keep faith anyway. Never waver. Pledge fealty. And you will be delivered. I hope you believed. Because I'm hitting it. Hail payment! Here we go! I told you. There you go. Oh god, I'm scared of this one. I'm so scared of this one. I hate Wild Blue. Wild Blue is the hardest star in the game. Fuck! Nope. That star is hard, bro! That shit is hard. You gotta do a wall jump, off a side flip, and then, like, do the... Do the heel slide? Man. Oh my god. Alright. Oh, that was so close. Is it? I think it's like right here, right? It's always one to the right of where I think it is. Oh no. Okay. I didn't get it. I didn't get I My bad. My bad. I had the slide. It looked fun. My bad. Here we go. That womp is so tempting. You just see his back and it's just so slidey. It's so like greasy and shimmering. With morning dew. You say, I need to slide down that. He's like a seal, you know? I gotta touch it. It's so just. You don't think the womp sweats? I think he sweats. That's as far down this road as I'm going. That's all I'm saying. I'm not going any further than this. I stop here. Okay. Please. Take me! Dude, I think I'm up 10 seconds. Well, 8 seconds? Several seconds, for sure. Almost eight. Here we go. Go. My phone ringtone is this level theme, and I keep checking my phone. <laughs> Maybe change that. Or watch someone else for the night. <laughs> what the heck? Go on, do not disturb. <laughs> that seems so annoying. Please. Oh my god, I got it. I so rarely get that double jump. Okay, what am I doing? Uh, penguin first. Penguin first. Come here, baby. Come here, the baby. Let's go. Huh? Let's go. 
Got it. Got it. Phew! God, do you remember how I lost sub-20 because of that penguin? I still can't believe that. If I caught him first try, I would have had it. Insane. Alright. Everything that I said about Satan before, it was, it was content. I didn't believe any of it. This is what I believe. Help me, God! Thank you, Lord in heaven, for this sweet star. Okay, yeah, yeah, for sure. Here we go. Okay. We got it. Clean? I don't know if it was clean, but it did work. Clean is not the right adjective, but function. Ooh, utilitarian. Woo! Here we go. Okay. Please, God. I forgot how to do this level. Or did I? Ooh! Talent, 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 talent. Oh, I'm so close. Please? Yes! Who put him there? No. Okay. I don't get zapped! It's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while. I hate the Bowser levels, dude. God. Jump had zero velocity. It had it had too much velocity. That's the problem. Because he did the the forward dive. You're supposed to like hold it back so you get the kick. You know. This time, for sure. Good luck, everybody! But especially good luck to me! I didn't think I had a long jump. I thought I lost all my momentum. Because <laughs> I was jumping so slow. I didn't think I was jumping at all. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, 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 okay. Next time, next time, next time, for sure. Next time. Holy shit, that was bad. I, al I almost want to reset because that was such a bad start. That can't be a good omen. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Let's go. Coney, do you know what a Lakitu skip is? No, I don't. I'm about to time you out so you have time to go look and tell me in 600 seconds. Come back and let me know. Come on. Huh! Okay. All right. Here we go. Jesus. Okay, we got it. We got it. I got bomb clip. I got bomb clip. I got bomb clip. Dude, my brain's, like, not on tonight. I'm forgetting shit. I'm stuttering. But I'm still getting sub-20. Still getting sub-20. Absolutely. I'm always scared of Womps, dude. My Womps has gotten so much better, though. This used to be, like, the... Oh, my God, that's so bad. This used to be the run killer every time. Oh my god, no! What? Remember? Anybody remember when this would always kill runs? Who remembers? 
a little nostalgic trip down memory lane for you. Remember when this would happen all the time? Hmm? Anybody? There you go. A little bit of a throwback. God damn it. I could have just done backup blue, but I didn't want to. So stupid. The only RNG run in this run is Coney. I actually, dude, with the boing? What happened that one night? I was playing one night randomly, and that boing was never on, on track. It was so weird. I've never seen anything like it. Tony, when you get the chance, here's a video Fuck! that will help you get sub 20 every single time. Dead Arrow Sister. Not watching that. I know it's Rickroll. I know it's Rickroll. I know it's Rickroll. I know it is. I'm not clicking on it. <laughs> It's Turkish man yelling at egg. I'm positive. I'm positive that's what it is. Why did he do that? And how did we find it? Was that video like a big meme or is that just like... Only about 11 seconds behind. It's not too bad. God, I'm so slow on that part for some reason. What the fuck? What the fuck? What's happening? Listen, it's been a long time since I've played, okay? I played the other night, and somehow I was still smooth. But tonight is a bit of a struggle. I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you. I'm trying. You know? I'm giving it my all. Man. This'll work, this'll work, this'll work, this'll work, this'll work. It blows my mind that the intro scene is actually like a, a straight minute. Like it's like dead on, you know? That's so cool. But I think it also shouldn't count for runs. Oh! I told you, I told you to believe. I told you to do it. I told you to do it and you didn't believe. You have no one to blame but yourself. You have no one to blame but yourself. You're stupid, you should feel stupid. Lose your points. Oh! Okay. Oh, baby! Well, surely he won't hit b b b both Sh -sh -sh Surely he won't hit b both Get the hell out of here. I always hit both. I'm talented. Oh my god. My belly got scraped. I would say this is the run, but I haven't seen the basement tonight. I don't know what horrors await. I'm gonna miss Mips. I haven't BLJ'd in weeks. Oh my god. Okay. Ah! 
How the fuck did that happen? How the fuck did that happen, dude? I'll give it up. I'll give it up. A little bit of jazz, a little bit of improv. You know? I actually don't know any jazz riffs. I know what. It's not really jazz, though, is it? Is that jazz? That's like TV theme song jazz, right? That's not the same. What? Hail Satan. And all the eight kings of hell. <laughs> I just got... Have you guys seen Hereditary? I just got the idea of, like, Toad standing naked in the castle. Like, at the end of the movie. He's, like, in a doorway. I don't know why. <laughs> I just... Like the end of the movie, you know, where the guy that you've seen throughout the whole movie is just there at the house. It's a funny movie. Check it out. I think I got it. I think I got it. Give it to me. Oh, he's on it. He's on it, baby. He is on it tonight. Can I get a Yahoo in the chat, please? For the love of God, somebody Yahoo! I think this is it. This might be it. Fellas, I'm up. I'm up quite a bit. Now, I did have to back up blue, which kind of fucked me. But I'm still up significant time. I think? I actually don't know. I should be here. I think I'm up 15, maybe 20. There's gotta be a better route for Al. 16. Ugh. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my god, that was smooth. That was perfect. Oh my god, that matched up! Standing in the hallway with his SM64 smile texture slash. No, no, head, I'm skipping. But he just got out. No, I'm not. I'm not re letting that rock. I'm not. You can't read the rest of it. No. Not on my stream. No, I'm skipping that. I'm skipping. <laughs> Come on. I can't stop people from reading it, but I can certainly stop him from saying it. What? What? What's happening? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no, 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 no. Here we go! I have to hit this first time. Please. Please. Oh my god. I hate the camera there. Please, God! I didn't believe anything I said. Wow! Some benevolent God. Forgive this, my ass. God is not an awesome God. He's a petty God. Oh, man. Give me secret sauce. I think I got first try BLJ during the, uh, during the run, right? 
Did I not? I can't remember. No. I hate that the whole run comes down to that, by the way. See shit. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> Is climbing up the steps like a baby? Oh man, all right. Bowser throws him so long. God. I haven't practiced. I have not practiced. This is so bad. This is so bad. The thing is, I just need one second. I just need to shave one fucking second. That is both the best and the worst feeling on the planet. Like... What the fuck? Mario. Oh my god. Oh, fuck. Mario, what? No. Okay. Okay. Pretty good movement. Never mind! I just, I just, I just. Let me hit the boing for my sanity, for my sanity, please, for the love of God. Thank you. Oh, thank God I hit that. Thank God I hit that. Now it's time for your favorite star and mine. You know what it is. It's a tight triple jump. It's so tight. The triple jumps are so tight every time. <laughs> Please. Oh, that's a hard angle. That's a hard angle. But he did it. I hate this one. Oh my god. I didn't think I got it. I took my I don't know if I'm gonna hit that star. I don't know if I hit that star. I don't I did hit the star! Here we go! How did I save 10 seconds? What the fuck? How did I fuck up that catastrophically on the run? God damn it. That might have been some sick jazz. Here we go. Okay. Please, God. I forgot how many times you hit the button. I hit it twice. You're only supposed to hit it once. It's gonna lag me a little bit. Please, God, let me have this jump. I just need the jump. Let me just have this jump first try. Thank you, God, for nothing. 
Just kidding. Praise the Lord. Sometimes. Praise the Lord ironically. When it suits you. <laughs> when you really, really need something. Okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh my god, I never hit that. I never hit that. Oh! Oh! I can do it. I can do it. I just need to save one of those seconds. I'm up six. If I can save one of those six seconds. This just goes to show how fucking, like, how much time there is to save at any given point. You know what I mean? Oh no. One hurdle down. One hurdle down. One hurdle down. I hate this part because I'm big focused. Because I always miss this fucking sub jump. No! Oh my god. I'm actually more ahead. I just didn't hit the button because I took a second to compose. I'm, I am a few seconds ahead. Oh god, I haven't practiced Bowser 2. I have not practiced Bowser 2! It's fine. I can take the damage. It's fine. I get to heal on the way up anyway. <sighs> God, it's so fucking laggy. <sighs> I think I need this first try. Long. It's been too long. I... Okay, so what happened there is I was like, I was thinking in my head, I was like, wait, does the A button throw or can I do B button? And then I tried A button. I was like, okay, that doesn't throw. And then I hit the B button. Fuck, fuck, fuck. fuck. It's been a while. It's been a while. Okay? Man. Man. Not a bad run. You know, I got down here. I need to practice these, yeah. I'm also gonna practice BLJs. That's why I wanna finish this.
If there's nothing on the line. Right? That's pretty good. I be a winner. I would love to be a winner one day. Do you think Giles needs an emote? What would that even look like? I do have a bunch of emote slots. No way. Did I really get it first try? Sometimes it's good to fuck up. It makes you feel good. Because it's like, oh, I couldn't have done it anyway, you know? Man. I've never gone into Wet Dry World, and I never will. Thank you, Anonymous Gifter. Oh, damn, you gave three months? I didn't know you could do that. Thank you very much. Chat. Will I ever hit 2,000 subs? I've never done it. It's been a dream of mine since I was a little boy. Will we ever do it? I've never hit it before. Oh, fuck. I've never hit it before, ever. You guys, will it ever happen? The boyhood dream? No gifts. Thank you, Xenon Boys. No gifts. Gifts don't count. Only if you sub 20. Oh. So never. No, you're right. Never. Okay. Not the triple oof. Didn't I lose a run to the triple oof? I think I did. I'm pretty sure that I, I had a run and then that happened. Oh my god. What? Okay, I've got the- I think I've got Bowser 3 down, because this is what I practice the most. This throw is hit or miss, though. I think it's a hit? Okay. 3 for 3. Yeah, I've got those down pretty good. Bowser 3 at the whole level. Damn, that's a far way to fall. The thing is, there's a very fine line there, because you have to do a double long jump. But if you do it too early, then you you grab the wall, and if you do it too late, then you can't do the second jump. It's like that. There we go. Oh, clean. He's so clean. What a good player. No. Oh, get out of my way. I'll kill you for your beef. Put you on a taco. Bring that ass here. Put them in the pizza. I hate Goombas, dude. Yeah. 
Mamma Mia! Ugly, but I don't have another one up. What about Galoombas? Even more. I can't believe they just made another Goomba. That's so annoying. Did you really think, like, you perfected the art of Goomba? And you're like, we can never top this. We need an entirely new Goomba. That's so annoying. Whoa! Do it again! Do it again! We're doing a whole level again! We're doing the whole level again! I didn't land on the arrow. Game over. I wanted to start over. <laughs> right? Oh, that, that's such a good emote. It really is. Favorite generic Mario enemy? I like Shy Guys a lot. Although, I guess it's more of a Yoshi thing, but I like Shy Guys. So I'm wearing this shirt. This shirt is actually from Hot Topic when I was, like, 19. This is an old shirt. I, I still fit in it, but just barely. I've tacked on some weight. That's why I'm wearing it, because I'm not standing. If I was standing, you could see me, you know? I love Shy Guys. Yeah. Let me look at generic Mario enemies. Hold on. Uh. Yeah, definitely Shy Guys. Only Shy Guys. Oh, I like bob -oms. I like... I, I just like cartoon bomb aesthetics like the bomb with the wick I just love that like that design I don't know why I've always liked it I like bob bombs and, and shy guys nope nothing else really boos are kind of cool but not exactly What the fuck is this? Is that Clue Clue Land? Is this Clue Clue Land? If it's Clue Clue Land, you have to sub. If it's Clue Clue Land, you have to sub. I think it's Clue Clue Land. We'll never know. I can't read that. 2000? That's a new game. Never mind. Okay. Hello. Okie dokie. I'm about to make the Yoshi story music just the theme of the stream. I love that shit. Chat, what's your favorite Yoshi? Do you like the Yoshi that says Yoshi or the Yoshi that goes What the fuck am I doing? Okay, I wasn't focused. I wasn't fo I'm skipping. I wasn't focused. I was responding to an email. I was responding to an email, and then I was like, oh, wait, I'm playing a video game. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, believers, but that's what you get. Sometimes I need to test you. You can't always win, believers. And you do so often. You must know modesty. Dude, old Yoshi sound is so funny.
I'm surprised I didn't get more hate for the, um... I'm shocked I didn't get more hate for the, uh, for the YouTube video that went out Friday about Sonic. I thought, like, because Sonic fans hate it when you say that Sonic isn't good. Um... Like, it's so funny, because, like, you'll have pe- as a YouTuber, right? You'll have people tell you that you only learned your opinions about Sonic games from YouTubers. It's so bizarre, and then they'll tell you to watch a YouTube video about why it's good? Isn't that weird? Like, what- why does everything revolve around movies? Oh, no. What the fuck? Okay. You know what, though? That just means more opportunities to win. More chances for Lakitu skip. More practice. Hello. That's what I like. I actually have food waiting for me upstairs. I gotta eat in a, in a little bit. I'm very hungry. My ass was not eating. Now got me Burger King on the way home. Because I did not have time to make food. I had to set up the story time. Those take so long to set up, by the way. So they better be worth it. Watch and subscribe. Would you get a PK? I just get a double cheeseburger. I don't get anything big. Cold Burger King? It's not that bad, actually. The fries act. Oh, fuck. I forgot the fries. Okay, I'm fucked. I'm so screwed. Never mind. I'm so... Wait, how did two people back-to-back -back have never had Burger King? What are you talking about? Why not? By the way, that was the ugliest lack of two skip, but it technically was a lack of two skip. How have you never had Burger King? That's so weird. Burger King is funny because it feels like it feels like all of them are not good restaurants but they're bad in different ways so like my particular brand of Burger King loves mustard they'll put too much mustard on everything they fucking love mustard any sandwich you eat you could get a salad and it's the mustard surprise I don't know why it's just a mustard fun time explosion. They fucking love mustard. But I know it's not like that everywhere. <sighs> I did eat uh I did eat hungry jacks down in uh, down in Australia. Apparently, Hungry Jack's is called that in Australia and not a uh, Burger King because there already was a Burger King in Australia and he would not sell the name no matter what. Which is very funny. That's very funny. Why? Why? No, I'm the Burger King! I'm the Burger King! They went out of business? <laughs> And now Burger King can't change. They're like, oh, son of a bitch. He's dead, but we can't do anything now. Now we're Hungry Jack. That is so funny. That is so fucking funny. They just, I, I'm so fucking, I hate being Jack. I don't want to be Jack. I'm the Burger King. <laughs> That's so funny, dude. And now they're stuck. Australians are assholes, dude. They are some ornery folk. It's an island of convicts. I love them. I think I like Australia because, like, America is assholes, too. But America's assholes in the way of, like, frat boy, like, oh, you ever see a bat thing? And then they just stretch their balls out. You guys ever hear that? Look, I got a bat wing. Look. It's just fucking juvenile. Here we go. You guys don't know what I'm talking about? Yeah, that was a thing when I was in high school. Check out this bat wing, and they would just, you just stretch your scrotum out. It's very gross. Yeah. Yeah. 
In Australia, their content, they're like funny assholes, at least in my experience. They're also very mean, and some of them will kill you, but at least they're honest. You know? I feel, I feel kinship with them. Come on. As a mean, honest person myself. Please, God. I swear to God. What the fuck happened? Okay, I'll give it up to myself. Oh, man. Okay. Thoughts on New Zealand? I literally never think about New Zealand. You want to know what I think about New, New Zealand? I'm like, oh, Lord of the Rings. That's it. Lord of the Rings and Kiwis. That's all you got. And Taika Waititi? Wakiti? Waika Tawiki? I forget his name. The director. I think he's New Zealand. The guy that made the Hitler movie. Taika Waititi. Yeah. Dude, I couldn't believe Tasmania was a real place, by the way. I thought it was cartoons. I thought it was a cartoon place. Like Tasmanian Devil? That's where he lives, you know? It would be like finding out Bikini Bottom is real. I'm like... Uh -huh. Let's go! I saw it coming. I saw it coming. Somebody says that the play there is you want to go first person. You need to go first person, but like, how do you do that? That seems so hard. God, that is such a, that's such an easy one too. Thank you, Mayor Boodle. Is it Mayored or Mayor D Boodle? I won't be mad, just tell me the truth. Bikini Bottom Israel, the U.S. did nuclear testing on a location called Bikini Atoll. That's not the same word as Bikini Bottom. You see, Atoll begins with A. How could you get this so wrong? Wait, is the implication that SpongeBob and his friends are mutants from nuclear testing? That's metal as shit! That's so cool! Wow! I didn't know that! So what, is like, rock bottom, like where the, the like, is that ground zero where the, where it hit? I didn't know that! I never knew that, that's so cool! That reminds me of the time that I once got this, uh, Spongebob VHS, and I popped it in, and I tried to watch Spongebob, but it was just like a picture of Squidward with like, red eyes. I don't know, it was really weird. Fuck. Woo! What? Oh, I see. I hit the four, too. Oh my god! Ooh. Dude, when I scrape my belly on the stairs, oh, there's nothing better. If I ate one more pasta noodle, I wouldn't be able to make that. Guys, your physical fitness is important. Be like Mario. Take your health seriously. Does Mario still eat pasta? That's not really a thing he does, right? Does Mario really eat it all? Like in the cartoons, they always made it like a point that he ate a lot of pasta. I don't think he does that anymore. Wait, Joestar, you can bet now? 
They let mods bet? That's crazy. I wonder why it was off before. Was the idea that, like, there could be corruption? There's, like, collusion with the mods? Is that really why it is? Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, well, okay, wait. It's not on part of the streamer. It's on part of the mods. I guess it makes sense. But they're fucking nonsense points. What? That's so stupid. But also very funny. I missed running Mario on stream, man. This is fun. It's nice. It's relaxing. I get to talk. It's not quite like like the Metroid Prime stream where we're just like, we're doing nothing but talking because the game sucks. You know? This is good. I don't think I got it. Wait, maybe. Got it. Hell yeah. So that Jake Paul fight was rigged, right? Shake? Shake? I was thinking about the Jake Paul fight. Hello. Okay, okay. <laughs> I was thinking about the fight. Dear Mario, please come to the castle. I have baked a cake for you. Yours truly, Princess. Yeah, that was definitely rigged. Peach. Absolutely. I take it you won. Yeah, Jake Paul won, like, very quickly. But there's a lot of things, like... The other guy went down in, like, one punch, basically, and he got up immediately, and the ref still didn't let him continue to fight. Um, after the fight, you can see him and his wife, like, smiling with this huge grin, like they just made off with millions. Him and his wife are walking. He doesn't look hurt or sad at all. Like, I, I don't know. It looks very much like you could just... That is the worst thing I've ever seen. But believers win. A little bit of jazz! Who likes jazz? Who likes jazz? Holy shit. What a disaster. How did I land that? Uh, but no, like, there's a lot of things that, like, seem really weird. Also, the guy in question, like, had another fight where he got the shit beat out of him and he still won. And everybody's like, wait, how did you beat this professional boxer after getting your ass kicked and then you got punched by a YouTuber and died? Like, a lot of questions, you know. Thank you, Oatmeal. Are YouTubers just the strongest beings on the earth? You know? Thank you, Splash Damage. Somebody else said that uh, he probably just didn't take it very seriously. Like, he didn't train, and that's why he lost. It's not that he rigged. He just didn't care, and then Jake won. Which, like, maybe. You know, fine. I think that's it. Oh, thank God. Okay. Here we go. I think that's it myself. Not like I'm some authority. Yeah, that's the thing. I, it looked very fishy to me, but I'm not the fucking. I'm not a boxer. You know. I don't know. I know some MMA stuff, but like, you know, I don't know shit about that. It's like a different world. What a media circus it is, though. Like, I was watching it, and I was like. Wow, Snoop Dogg's on commentary, and then I listen more. I'm like, is that Pete Davidson? Pete Davidson on the mic? Weird. The SNL hack? Hack? That's mean. You think he's a hack? Thank you, Minlo. I think he's pretty funny. Yahoo! 
I think he's a funny fellow. He's okay. Yeah, he's fine. I don't really like any of the SNL guys. Everybody says that Kyle Mooney is so fucking funny, and then I watch him, and he just plays the same character. I'm like, I don't, I don't get it. They're like, oh, you have to go to his online stuff, and I watch it. It's like, yeah. Fuck, I didn't get it. Keenan is funny, but Keenan always looks like he's smiling, and it makes me mad. Keenan always looks like he's smiling. He always has, like, his lips turned up, you know? He's just a happy guy, I guess. But yeah, I kind of hate watch SNL. But to sort of keep an, sort of keep a, uh, keep a finger on the pulse of what America finds funny, and also to sort of watch liberal propaganda, it's so weird when like, it's so fucking weird when like you'll have a sketch, right? And in the sketch, Maya Rudolph is com uh, Kamala Harris. And she's telling off Alec Baldwin as Trump, and the crowd loves it. Like, they clap. And I'm like, this is a puppet show. I didn't do Al. I, I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't fucking do this. Jesus Christ. I can't. I'm, I thought that was it, and then I'm like, wait, there's an Al. It's been a while. But no, it's weird, because, like, it's, it's, these aren't the real people. Dear Mario, please come to the there was one episode recently that Mal and I watched where there was a woman in the audience and anything that was moderately sort of a jab at the right, this woman would go, Woo! Woo! It was disruptive to the point that the cast had to, like, pause. It was weird. Very weird. So, yeah, I watched it ironically. Thank you, Trash Landon. Thank you, Crunkla, please. Crunkla, please. <laughs> Funny name. I dig it. Oh, so E3 is coming back. One of the things that I absolutely want to do, I don't care how low effort it is, I don't give a shit, I'm doing it. We're watching E3 cringe compilations. I fucking love those. I don't care. I love them. I fucking love them. I don't care if it's low effort. I don't care if it's like... Oh, you're just reacting. I don't care. It's so funny. It's so fucking funny. And also, like, with the benefit of hindsight, you're like, oh, yeah, that game did happen. That game sucked. Why did it have all this marketing? That shit is so funny to me. You're also restreaming? Absolutely, I'm watching E3. Yes. You kidding me? Hell yeah, dude. I think I have to pay for it. I don't give a shit. I'll pay anything you want, brother. Let me in that conference. I get a bomb every time you Here we go. Dude, I love E3 shit. I really do. I literally have a thing on my computer right now. It's a Chrome uh, window. So like a Chrome instance with every YouTube video of the of this shit from uh, 2011 to 2021. Which is only 2011 to 2019. Like, I'm ready. I've got it. And I think it'd be two videos. I think it'd be 2011 to 2015, and then 2016 to 2019. I think I'm fucked here. I think I'm... I think I'm screwed, by the way. We need to make an E3 bingo. Oh, yeah. No Elden Ring is the free square. What? Okay. Okay, the run was cursed anyway. All right, let me grab food. Let me grab food. You guys enjoy this, uh, enjoy whatever game comes up. One sec.
All right. Quick mukbang. Quick mukbang. Wolf child. Where are your fries, dude? They're bad. They're not good. Ugh. Coney, opinion on Pop-Tarts? They're good, but like, each one is, I think, 200 calories or 400 calories? I think it's 200. That's a lot. It's a dessert. Best fries you've ever had? I don't know. Probably had some gourmet restaurant. I like Thrasher's, and I like the really crispy shit that you can get at, like, um... Take out, like, diners. Diner fries are delicious. They're, like, mad crunchy. Extremely crunchy. Sorry for the break. I eat very fast, I promise. Don't leave. Tony, what are your thoughts on eye patches? I'm a fan. I like eye patches a lot. As a kid, I often wished that I would lose an eye so I could wear one without being laughed at. Oh, shit! Dude, this is the tournament edition. This shit is really rare. Like, ungodly rare. This player sucks. How'd you know? Because there's the timer at the top. How did you get it? I'm rich. kills me it goes right from that to like this oh shit it's bobby bob let's go get them all i told you guys that story right i once wanted bust a groove for my, for christmas and i asked my dad for bust a groove which was a dancing rhythm game for ps1 he got me bust a move which is the shitty puzzle game with these two we're so sad. I was so angry. It was like, I think it was the one with the baby on the cover. Bust a move 99. And I told him specifically, I said, it's not bust a move. God, dad, make an effort. Oh my God, I loved this game. Oh wait, no, I'm thinking of Mutant League Hockey. Never mind. He was trying his best. Bullshit! I said specifically, there is a game called Busta Move. Please don't get that. I want Busta Groove. Cringe. Yeah, I love Mutant League Hockey so much. I played that so much. <laughs> Jellyfish. What 
hell is this? This is not Evo, no. This is Seventh Saga? I've never heard of it. That's kind of dope. I dig that. you play evo i've always wanted to beat evo i love evo i get i've always gotten to the caveman part and then i stop because it's so annoying or maybe the yeti part i don't remember dude it's insane to think about this was um doc man this was video games 40 years ago. That's half a lifetime. What are they going to be like in 40 years, you know? Insane. God, there's so many Pac-Man clones. Jesus. I bet it's called Hat Man. It's called Hat Man. He's wearing a hat. Hat Man. Lock and chase. Never mind. What the fuck? Uh, what's the game here? Am I am I the wolf or is this the same game? That's too big. That burger is too big. What are you doing? Short order. Definitely a person making a pew sound with his mouth. <laughs> Dude, old arcade games sucked. So shitty. What is this dude even doing? Oh god, his ass. This is like Dig Dug, I guess. Or how are you gonna get up there on the top left? Oh, he's athletic! Good shit. Damn, this looks annoying. He got through. Well done. Good job, little buddy. What? Bungling? Bungelling? <laughs> what the fuck is happening here? <laughs> what the fuck is this game? I wish I could give out uh, channel points, because I'd be like, okay, chat, what game is this? And if anybody had the answer, I will give them points. But I can't do that. Warp and warp. Okay. All right, one more game, then we're back to Mario. Oh, what a hit. Too fast. It's like an air bubble. Left.
Tony, do you drink coffee? No. Don't like it. Because I'm a big, stinky, boo-boo baby. And it doesn't taste good to me. Me. I do like tea. Now I'm out of it. Dear Mario, Would you like coffee if they give you a sponsor in a fucking heartbeat? Yours you kidding me? Princess Toadstool. Peach. If it tasted good. What is this? Somebody just added me. It says content creator saying Five Nights at Freddy's. And it's me saying Five Nights at Freddy's. I don't even know what I was saying. I'll have to watch this later. Five Nights at Freddy's. Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> and now I've said it again, son of a bitch! It's nice to be thought of as a content creator. They're keeping me in their thoughts. Thank you. Was it spliced? No, it's just that thing where I emphasize a part of a word for fun. Because language is fun. Like Mario. You know? Hmm. I still cannot believe that that fucking Living Tombstone song was ever popular. I don't know if I was just, that was like the first time I was aged out of something, but I remember listening to it and I was like, holy shit. But I get the same feeling when I listen to Corpse Husband, so I, I guess, you know, it's fine. It's kid stuff. It's fine. They dig it. It's fine. Nothing wrong with it. Let the youth have their fun. It's fine. I liked some weird stuff too, you know? I'm sure I did. I can't remember it, because all my shit was cool as hell, but I probably did. I had that phase, I was that age where you had that phase where you're really into Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah, I was that kid. My mom still gets me Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. I'm like, mom, I'm 32. That was one summer. I love you though, thank you. What the fuck, you can go through the blocks? That was you? Yeah. I was one of those kids that, like, had an angle of being, like, early high school, like, so, uh, freshman year, really. I, I got more normal in sophomore, but I had the angle of being, like, s sensitive, you know? You know? Every theater kid did that, too? Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I listen to, like, Dashboard Confession. What am I doing? I could have done it. I could have done it if I was thinking. I did it backwards. Listen to, like, Dashboard Confessional. You know, shit like that. Hello. Big fan oh, of Def Cab for Cutie. You get it. Dear Mario, please come to the castle. I have baked a cake for you. Yours truly. Fallout Boy? That was a little bit too late. Peach. I think Fallout Boy, I was in college at that point. And I did listen to it, but I wasn't like, it wasn't my whole identity. You know what I mean? You sound like my high school girlfriend? Dude, my high school girlfriend once, I kid you not, we only dated for like a month. <laughs> oh man, I can't believe this now that I'm thinking about it. We did hot yoga together once. She was Turkish. And she was really into hot yoga. And we did that once and it was kind of cool. And one time, we're alone in her bedroom, right? And I think she put on the notebook and we both fell asleep or something. Um, I don't remember. It was something like that. We didn't actually watch the movie, but nothing happened. And then later, we start talking more. And she was like, I want to do something for you. I'm like, what? She's like, I want you to hear this. And so she put on... Uh, I forget what song it is. What's that? What's that? Uh, what's the Death Cab song that ends with like, 
What Sarah said. That's it. What Sarah said. The one that, that ends with love is watching someone die. She puts it on. And she sings it. But she doesn't know the words, so she sings it to me while reading out of the CD booklet. Not a joke. This happened to me. I'll kill the run for this story. That's not a joke. Yeah. She read it out of the booklet. And, like, I was like, this is kind of weird. But she was really hot. She was really hot. We never did anything. We made out and I touched her boob. That's it. That's it. Her mom was always home, bro. Her mom was always home. It was so cringe. Why'd you break up? I, we just weren't right for each other. We have very little in common. She was just physically attracted to me, and I was sort of physically attracted to her, and that was it. And then we talked more, and I was like, oh, I don't like you. You're really stupid. And she didn't like me because I was probably kind of annoying, you know? So, we just had zero in common. I never called her stupid. I just thought it. Would she have hated modern Kony? Probably. I mean, I'm sure she's like... She's probably... Like, she she would never even know who I was. She was never like a gamer or anything, you know? Dear Mario, here's coming to the castle. I have baked a cake for you. Yours truly, Princess Toadstool. Peach. It's weird to see people that you grew up with now... Or, or like, that you dated in high school, now married and with kids and stuff. It's a strange feeling, and not in the way that, like, the BoJack way of, like, oh, what could have been, but more like, huh, that could have been my life. Weird. Not in, like, a romanticized way, but, like, in a, if, if things worked out, you know? The BoJack way, Jesus Christ, could, I mean, I'm speaking to the lowest common denominator. You know what Twitch chat is. Everybody gets it. The sad horse, everybody. You know? Any sad horse fans? Hmm? So relatable. I liked that show generally, but then they said some... Like, there were some lines that were so, like... Ugh. Your audience is stupid. Or at least they think your audience is stupid. It was a very good show. Particularly the game show episode, which is my favorite episode. What a fucking good episode. I did like it a lot. But... God damn it. <laughs> Look at Chomp! God. It's so annoying. He got my ass. He got my ass. Uh, Why well, hit it? I hit the skip, you know? What were the lines? I don't remember. It was some bullshit. It's like, when, it's it's all the lines like where somebody's telling someone off. You know, they've had enough of Bojack shit and they're like, -dum -bum, -dum -bum, and then they leave, you know? Some of them are good, but some of them are like, they keep putting, how do I put this? Like, they keep putting the ball on the tee during those scenes because there are so many scenes of a character that's had enough of him. Like, every character at one point in the series has enough of him. And they put the ball on the tee, and sometimes they hit it, and sometimes they hit the tee and the ball falls off. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. Oh, Chippendale! This time it's good. It's a good show, though. It is a good show. I'll give it up. Dear Mario, please come to the castle. I, have the I still like Moral Oral Yours better. Truly, Favorite character? Uh, Peach. Peanut Butter. By a mile. By a fucking mile. I love him. I love him so much.
Tony, this is your once in a lifetime opportunity to leave post. No. I can't. I can't. I abstain. I'm clean. I mustn't. Ah, okay. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. Fuck! I just like peanut butter because everybody else on the show is so sad and like, my life sucks, everything's bad, and I get why they do it, but it was so refreshing to have one dude that's just like, yeah, I'm not depressed or anything. I've got problems too, but you know, it's like, I, I, he handles them in a unique way to everybody else. You know? I liked that. Which is to say that he didn't handle them in a lot of ways. Coney hates depressed people? No, it's just you need some fucking levity. Hello. Everybody's just going around talking about how sad they are, how their life is fucked up. You know? Dear Mario, please come to the castle. I have it's nice. You. Yours truly, Princess Toadstool. Peach. Coney isn't depressed because he's a billionaire. Literally, the point of the show is that you, you can be sad with money. Come on. Right now, I'm I'm just happy with money. I got it. I'm, I'm very lucky. I got it both ways, you know? I don't have a maid. Come on. Yeah, I, I think we were supposed to play board games, but I don't know where they are. So I'm just gonna keep playing some motherfucking Super Mario! Okay, I don't know what happened. I think I clipped on the bridge. Bridge? Fence. What the fuck?! Olympic jumper? One, two. <sighs> Gods. <sighs> Can't win them all. Hello. Okay, okay. Thank you, Big hey, Ted de Bertha. Thank you. Yours truly, Princess Toadstool. Peach. 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 Ha. You know? Guys, be on. Have you ever said Yahoo in your life? I'm actually trying to think. I don't think I ever have. Like not as a joke. Not as a not like like Mario, but like Like have you ever been so excited? Not unironically, okay. I say woohoo when I get excited. Do you? I think it's I think it's rooted in like southern prospect, right? That's a very old gold prospect thing to say. Here we go. I feel like people say woo or who, but not both. Well, woo is much more common than woo. 
I'm just saying, if you guys haven't tried it before, I would give it a shot, maybe, you know? I just say neat or something. You think Mario would do that? Neat. Not a big jump. I want a Mario game where Mario's trying really hard to be cool. Like, there's no joy or energy. He's just... He really wants, like, the player to like him. Everything is just, like, a, a detached aloofness. You know? Sonic? No, Sonic is trying to be cool in a different way. Sonic, Sonic talks a lot. He's not aloof. Instead, he's, like, talking about how cool he is. I have baked a cake for you. Yours truly... Toadstool. Peach. Like Mario gets a, st a star, he's just like, <laughs> cool, I guess. I guess like Shadow. That would be like Shadow. Sonic is an egomaniac. Yeah, if I met Sonic in real life, I wouldn't like him. I would not like him. He would not be fun to hang out with. Billy? Thank you, TP Choop. Good luck on the runs. Thank you. I'm gonna need it. It's been so long since I played that now I'm just fucking up the easy shit again. I can't get out of Womps. But I can get off this fucking bridge! He hits it every fucking time. There will never be a world where he doesn't hit it. He'll always hit it. Every single time. I'm telling you. Who's that? Thank you, S. The best. Yeah, I can't believe people would doubt on Bomb Clip. Of all things? You know I hit that. No fucking way. Oh Why is that happening now? It did not happen earlier. Fingers are cold, bro. I thought I, I can't. I'm not even thinking. I thought I would have to go through the like where it tells you about the level again. I can't. Ah, okay, 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 okay. So rusty, dude. Fuck. So rusty. Hello. Hello. Dear Mario, please come to the castle. I have baked a cake for you. Yours truly, <sighs> Princess Toadstool. Dear Mario. Peach. Peach. Watch your boy tear this up. Oh! <laughs> 
Oh god, waboom! Holy shit! Waboom! Hello! Okie dokie! Dear Mario, please come to the castle. Mm -hmm. I am mm -hmm. the king. Mm -hmm. Yours truly, mm -hmm. Princess Toadstool. Peach. Yeesh. Says sheesh. Stop. Dude, I looked up sheesh because I was like, I'd never heard it. I've only seen it written down, right? And I thought, like, it was being said, like, sheesh. And I looked up a fucking clip on YouTube and I couldn't believe it. I was like, what the fuck is he saying? And maybe I'm just old and my old ears can't hear it. But I was like, what? That shit was... Say it? No. I'm not gonna do it. I thought it was like, yeesh, yeah, exactly. You know? Hello. Okay, okay. Dear Mario, Add very pog? Oh, hell yeah. This is nice. I gotta kill one, though. We are killing... What are we killing? God, we use all these, though. We're killing Mario, no. We don't use it. Goodbye, Mario, no. Mario, no is gone. Very Pog is up. Always kills the best ones? No, he doesn't. How much do people actually use that before? Come on. Be honest. Why did Luigi ask him if he brought a light anyway? I think he knows that he didn't have it. Bring a light. No. Fuck. Go. Hell yeah. No! What the fuck is this? <laughs> Hammer and Harry. <laughs> Man, I will never hit it. I will never hit it. Never, ever. Hello. Never, ever. Okay, okay. God. Dear mm. Mario, mm. please come to the castle. Coney, please add Carlos. What is this? Yours truly, Princess Toadstool. It's just a fit. No, I'm not adding Carlos. I don't get it. It's a fish. I don't like fish. 
If I don't watch, he'll get laughing too. Let me try really hard. Holy fucking shit! Oh my god! Oh man! France! That was so bad! Okey-dokey. Good lord. Dear Mario, please come to the castle. I am Yours truly, Princess Toadstool. Peach. Peach. What is this Carlos thing? Guys, I'm getting Millhouse vibes. It's not a meme. Come on. It's not real. Stop it. What? Come on. I will not be responding to it anymore. I know I'm not doing that right. I always slow way down at the end. Oh my god. for Peach! Wait, do I even have coins here? I just realized there's no like, coin counter. <laughs> Who's that? Carlos! I can't see. I can't see the run. I can't see the run. I can't. I, I literally can't see it. Stone Cold, I can't see it. No sub 20 until I'm added. This is my curse on you and your firstborn. My firstborn? Juliet? I don't think she's gonna run Mario, but if she does, I'll... Okay, I thought that... I thought that fish stopped me. I thought he stopped me from hitting the canvas. Truly can't be a speedrunner. Oh, no. That's awful. Oh, no. Not that. My daughter won't be a gamer. Oh no. Oh. Oh, that was nice. Got it. What if I get sub 20 this run? Fuck you, Carlos. Yeah. 
How did a fish even get a computer? I must have found the Titanic. Went to the computer lab on there. Did I get it? Good player, good player, good player. Oh, baby. I don't like fish, I don't like birds, because you can't tell what they're thinking. Other animals are good because you can tell what emotions they're feeling. They don't they don't have any facial features that what the fuck? Doesn't matter, it's a lot. They just have cold dead eyes. And I don't even think fish are smart enough to feel. They don't have emotions. Yeah, they don't think. But you hate monkeys because they emote too much? Yes! Yeah, there's 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 a limit on both sides. Monkeys are too human. I know what the monkey's thinking, which is weird to me. Because at any point, he could think something else and then bite my nose off. That's the scary thing. I'm not scared of a bird biting my nose off. I just don't like the way it looks at me. Here we go! Isn't that true? People? Drunk people, yes. I feel the same anxiety around drunk people, and this is not a joke. This is not a bit. When I'm around really drunk people, I hate that feeling. Because I'm like, I don't know when you're gonna... This is not a joke. Like, I hate that shit. I hate it, dude. I think a bird is more likely to bite. Depends on where you're hanging out. Let's go. What the fuck is this camera angle? Dude, what the fuck is... He tried... He That was a hit. That was a hit. That was a hit. I've never seen that before. That was a hit. Lakitu took care of me. He took a payment from Bowser. I don't know. That was insane. That I've never gone that far. I've never gone that far. That's never happened to me. Is there a run for backflip only? That might be fun. I'll make my own thing. Not yet? Pioneer? Alright. What if I did? 16 star but only backflips? How would you even do it? That would take so long. How do you BLJ? I, maybe you're allowed to BLJ. That's technically a backflip. You know? If the stairs weren't in the way, you'd be doing a backflip. It's Z-button. Maybe call it, like, Z-jumping or something. You know? Good luck catching Mips. Oh, good point. I bet there's a way to catch him, actually. I bet there's a way to backflip, like, lock him into a corner or something, you know? You're welcome. That's for you. That's for you, believer. Oh, 
Oh. Oh. That might have been a goal. I didn't hit the button fast enough. Now I have to actually focus. Not bad movement. Not terrible. Oh, man. Wops, 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 wops. Oh no, did I fuck up? Oh! I didn't go straight down, I thought I fucked up. Phew! Wild blue, wild blue, wild blue, wild blue, wild blue, wild blue, wild blue. I don't know what to do here. I don't know what the fastest like movement option is, but I guess it doesn't matter too much. <gasps> I got it. Oh, here we go. Holy shit. You know what fucks me up though? When I think about the fact that I'm like only, I'm less than a seventh of the way into the run. Well, a little bit more than a seventh, I think. But like, there's still so much to be played, you know? So scary. One star at a time. It's like right here. Think. <gasps> Dead center. Here we go. Oh, man. I missed one jump, but that's only a couple seconds. Not bad. Jumps? Huh? Okay. Let's get the baby. Let's go. stars in. It's so nerve-wracking. Save me, God! I 
shouldn't have flipped. Here we go! Shouldn't have done a flip, but it doesn't matter. I was scared of going over it. I shouldn't have jumped. I said safety first, and then I didn't do it. I said safety first, and then I did not do it. I said I wanted to do it, and then I didn't do it. I said I was gonna do it, and then I didn't do it. Okay. And again. Hello. I had it. It was right there. What it was is that I knew that I didn't have the time to, to land and jump, and so I slid off. Fuck. Now's the time. Now is the time. It's time to believe. The time is now. The time has come to believe in me. The doubters have had their portion of the stream. This is now the believer's portion. Doubters, you can log off. Because the rest of the night is dedicated to the believers. Go. Oh, it's believers' night. And the feelings right. Oh, it's believers' night. Oh, fuck me. What about people who don't bet? Even more cringe. You're just sitting on the fence. Come on. Support your streamer! Support your streamer, please! Clap if you believe. I don't mean in the chat. Clap at home. Just, just clap right now. Not in the chat, no, clap in real life, right now. Wherever you are, as loud as you can. So there are 850 people in here. One person at least did that. At least one person just woke up their whole house. I'm positive they did that. I'm at a funeral? Get off your phone! Hello. Okey -dokey. Dear Mario, please come to the castle. I have baked a cake for you. Yours truly, Princess Toadstool. I'm in a hotel room Peach. clapping as loud as I can. Perfect. Good. Do me a favor. Go out into the hallway, get some ice, take your phone, continue clapping the whole way.
What if it's the after part of the funeral? That might be okay. Is it an open casket? We're just making sure. Mima! Mima! Okay, she's gone. Oh. Bad joke. Bad joke. A chance for it sealed me, Ma. Man. What if you're at a few? You're at a funeral and the body just sits up in the casket and starts applauding. I feel like the only thing you could do is also applaud. Good trick. It's a little self-congratulatory, but... I'm pretty sure Tom Sawyer did that, right? In the book? He fakes his own death and then he just... Uh, none of you guys read. It's lost on you. You guys read Tom Sawyer? <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. I was gonna do like a who is in Paris joke. What'd they call Jim? Huh? What the fuck? Oh, I'm saved. If you're so smart. That saved me. <laughs> My teacher made us say Jim's full name. Dude, I we read Native Son. And uh they made us do that too. And even then, I was like, oh my god. I can't believe they did this. You know? I was in high school. <laughs> That's weird as hell. I mean, like, it, it really is, like, a difference in, in time, honestly. There's a lot more sensitivity now for that stuff. And I don't mean in sensitivity like, uh, like a... Oh, the, the snowflake triggered liberals. It's like, I don't know, people are just, they're not going to do that now, you know? It's a different time. Why would they do that? It's just, it's, it's an idea that the sanctity of the text and the message is more important than your feelings. And it's the idea that the word is supposed to evoke a certain response in people. They don't want people to shy away from that. Whether or not that's right or not, I'm not saying. I'm just saying that's the idea. It's weird that people don't really, like, people can't even fathom that was the case when we were younger, you know? I know it's like a weird, like, idea, but I don't know. It just was a thing, you know? It's true, but you shouldn't make people say it. Yeah. I don't think they ever made someone say it. I think it was just like, you can. <laughs> My English teacher gave me the pass. <laughs> My white southern English teacher. <laughs> That's actually a really funny... That's a funny skit idea. Actually. Oh. 
Oh my god, that was bad. Coney, tell us a memorable teacher you had. Um... Memorable teacher? I actually don't really have that many. I didn't have many big teachers. I mean, I told the story about that the Spanish teacher that I had, that I would go on and on about how I wanted a fucking DDR machine at the school, and she would just humor me. <laughs> you know? That was a little, uh, that was good for her. Here we go. Yeah, I told that story. <laughs> Did you have any funny teachers? I have one teacher that's definitely heavily conservative. Uh, but, like, he's very, like, even back then, when it wasn't, like, the way it is now, he was still very protective. I worked at Cold Stone, right? That was my first job. And the, uh, you know, I didn't realize how protective people were of their vote, like, who they're voting. And so I saw this guy, and he's my social studies teacher, the, the run's dead. I saw this guy, and he's my social studies teacher, and as he walks out, like, the, the election day is the next day, or, like, in a week. I'm like, hey, Mr. P, who are you voting? Like, I asked him in front of the whole restaurant. Now, nobody was in the building. Nobody else was there. But I just asked him, like, across the room. Like, it was not, like, there was not... And he was just, like... He just shook his head like that. I'm pretty sure it was the George Bush election. I think. When did George Bush get elected? 2004? Yeah, that had to have been it. I think. Or was he 2000? He was 2000. But I would have been 12. Okay, never mind. Yeah. Other than that, I didn't really have teachers that made any kind of impact. Other than my drama guy, but he wasn't really a teacher. Like I said, he was the drama teacher, but like he didn't work at the school. He just like directed the plays. And that guy was fucking insane, which I told you guys about before. He would get Starbucks every day, tell us how he was like in Prague, snorting cocaine off a of hooker's ass crack. Like this dude was talking to like 17 year olds like that. This dude was fucking nuts. But he was a great actor, and he was very funny. Yeah, this- yeah, he was- it was wild. Yeah, that guy was nuts. Getting Starbucks isn't a uh, mark of insanity? No, it's not that, it's that he would bring Starbucks for everyone. Like, what he would do, he would- he would go to Starbucks, and he would get, like, croissants for everybody in the cast. And it's not so much that that's insane, but he was loaded rich. Why is he teaching drama at the high school? What the fuck? He always had like a sugar mama, but he also had a daughter, I guess from his previous marriage. I don't know, dude. The dude was insane. He was a very good actor, though. I told the story about the time he busted into the dressing room when me and my friend Vasant were, uh... Me and my friend Vasant were in a show called Animal Crackers, which is based on a Marx Brothers thing. And we have very small parts. We were just cops. Um, but we have very small parts because we were directing... Uh, something else, and he didn't want to give us too much to do. So we have very small parts, so we didn't really give a shit. And we made it very clear we didn't give give a shit about it. And Vasat and I are, are chilling in the dressing room, just talking shit. And he comes in, and he's like, oh, good, you're both in here. And then he locks the door behind him, and he berates us for, like, 15 minutes, just yelling at us. And at the end, Vasat and I just, we say nothing the whole time. And at the end, Vasat and I just make eye contact, and we bust out laughing. Dude was so fucking funny. She's like, what the fuck was that? Like a 60-year-old dude pressed about a Marx Brothers production. Fucking musical, you know? We were, we were like, we didn't even have lines. 
Was he still in the room with you? No, he left. He, like, slammed the door, and we both just... I think Vasant was really high. Vasant liked to get really high. Really high. I loved Vasant. He was great. Give it to me. Here we go! Oh my god, I never hit that. Shit. Okay. Woo! Oh my god! Oh my god, I might need to do some jazz. Oh, no jazz needed! Fuck jazz! Oh, okay. That was bad, but I'll take it. Here we go! No jazz. Fuck a Chet Baker. Oh, I'm sad. I'm sad. I'm gonna sing like I'm sad. I've been listening to a lot of Chet Baker. I didn't know who Chet Baker was before this stream. See, it's an exchange of culture. Here, what happens on this stream? Miles Davis has a funnier voice. That's Louis Armstrong. Don't get them confused. No! We're back up. We're back up. Oh, baby! There's some jazz. Oh my god. That was so scary. Man. And I think to myself, watch for rolling rocks. Here we go. That would be me doing stand-up at open mic. What if Louis Armstrong was a speedrunner? I think it would sound a little something like this. <laughs> That's so stupid. That's so fucking dumb. Okay. <laughs> That's so funny to me. Okay. No. No, come on. Come on, dude, swim. Do people still watch Family Guy? I feel like Family Guy was like a cultural touchstone of like the early 2000s, and I feel like it's not like a thing anymore. Like, is it still like a... Like, everybody watches it kind of deal? Not everybody, obviously. But you get what I'm saying. Like, does it still have cultural relevancy? Here we go! I feel like it's, it's like, it's, it's just that... It's like when we, we moved into the, like, the internet stage, you know? The gestalt of information. And then it's just like, that's when Family Guy thrives. Because it's all about cultural references. You know? What? I'll give it up! What the fuck is that? This 
part is so stressful. And it really shouldn't be, because it's pretty on rails, obviously, but... Okay. Why does that ledge always fuck me? Holy fucking shit. Holy fucking shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
Good job, Coney. You deserve it. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. Holy shit. I broke the door. I broke I I broke that door. I'm gonna have to pay money to fix it. You see that? Oh I I just slammed through it. Holy fucking shit. Oh dude, yeah, right there. You see it? Oh man. And it's all thanks to you. Dude, when I missed that first throw, I was so scared. I was so fucking afraid, dude. Oh my god. Here we go! Oh, god, dude. Let's bake a delicious cake. Oh! Oh! I know it's so stupid. I know it's so small. But, like... Fuck! Man! Oh! Def- Oh my god! Long time coming, but I'm so Thank glad you, Bunky Lee. Not a trace of that. Oh my god. No golds! No golds! No golds! Thank you guys so much for the subs. Holy shit. Thank you guys so much. Jesus. Dude, I, I did not expect to feel like that. Seriously, I don't know what happened. It's the release of tension. It re like, I literally didn't think that was going to happen to me. I was like, okay, if I get sub 20, fine, whatever. It wasn't within the six weeks. But as, it, as we got closer, I could feel it. And I'm like, oh. Oh my God, dude. Oh. It's the relief of the tension. It's the relief of the it's like it's like feeling that build up and it's getting closer and closer. It's just so fucking stressful and then just oh. Fuck. Oh my god. Got it. I got it. I can't believe it. Holy shit, dude. Holy shit. Vince is gonna kill me because I did this just randomly. Oh man. Thank you guys so much for the gifts. Thank you. Oh my god, that's a lot. Thank you, Mooncake. Holy shit. Jesus. I guess this is going on YouTube now. I didn't think this was going on YouTube, and that's the run where we were talking about. Tom Sawyer and and Louis Louis Armstrong and oh god that's the run I guess oh man I can't believe it I can't, I'm so fucking ah man and it feels good too because I'm doing it on 64 and it's like faster on emulation. So this is like way below 20 on the other way, you know? Fuck, man. <sighs> is it world record? Is it world record? Did I get it? Yes? So much Let's fucking go! Like Hell it. yeah! Let's go! That dude has got himself locked up in Japan, playing every day for a month straight, and I just got it casually, talking about Family Guy. Insane. The talent on display. Imagine if I locked myself up for a month. Think of what I could accomplish. Oh, man. Fuck. That's insane, man. Whew. 
You're going to be locked up for a month when Mal sees that door. <laughs> those doors are kind of... We just bought one of those doors, too. Not a joke. We just bought one because the other one had a had an issue with it. Something fell through it and it broke. So, man. Dude, I can't. Oh, dude, I am delighted. Fuck. Oh. Insane. What what a what a fucking experience, dude. I was not expecting anything from tonight. Me neither. I I like this was just to talk. This wasn't really playing. It was more just a talking stream. I was not taking it seriously at all. No golds, only greens. Damn, dude. I thought I lost it when I uh when I fell. I thought it was over. Oh, god, dude. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I ah, oh, Jesus, dude. I know it, I again, I know it's only 20 and I know other people go below 16. I get it. It's just like, you know, I for streaming, what, two months total? Maybe three months? This game? Fuck. Is your hand all right? No, no, no. I didn't, uh, I didn't punch it. I, like, palmed it. And it was only to catch myself. I didn't even mean to punch it. I just, I, I popped off too hard and I slipped. And then I put my arm up and I hit it. And I was like, I don't care. I don't care. I hit it. Oh, God. That feels really fucking good. <sighs> Man. Okay. Well, I did promise I would do this. I did promise I would do this. I have some unfinished business. Hello. Thank you, Zero Strider. Man. Congrats on hitting sub 20, you. dude. You earned it. Thank Drake you, dude. Less I, than again, I, I feel so silly, you know, because I know it's not like a monumental accomplishment. But it feels so fucking good. At least good. all of those subs cover the door replacement. That's true. I can't make a lot of money without also losing a lot of money. This happened to me when I won in Smash 2. I won a Smash tournament, and then I had to get my car fixed the next day because I drove it on a fucking median. That, like, half an hour after winning. I just, I can't win. I'm top 700 in the world? Am I, am I less now? Because I was top 650 before, I think. What's my spot now? 1958-59 on console. 667? Okay. 666. Gonna take the scenic. Wait. I've never done this before? Can you? I want to try something. I've never done this before. He juked me. He juked me. He's very slippery. He's very slippery. He's very slippery. <laughs> Guys, he's very slippery. Does the penguin have a name? Huh? Oh, you asshole, you little shit. Go in there! Get in there! He's holding on. He's got his beak, like, pecked into the wall. Get in there! That's it. <laughs> Juked again. Okay. Alright, buddy. Ground pound? <laughs> Oh. <sighs>
Pickle. The baby is female. Her name is Oxy. Oh, that's cute. I didn't know that. We're going the wrong way. I'm going to savor this. Wait, can you only slide here? Oh, yeah. No, I'd, ra I'd rather walk. I'll do a ground pound in real life at SmashCon. If I can have something under my butt, I'm not trying to break my tailbone. Man. You gotta do the full front flip like Mario? Oh yeah, absolutely. Somersault. Wait, why am I still sliding? Okay. When I was a kid, we used to do Mario, and my friends and I would play a game where who could kill Mario in the funniest way? I used to boing off that thing and then fly off slowly. It was pretty funny. That's a good contest? Yeah. I forgot how long this path is. Like, if you go the normal way... Wait, is this the normal way? Do I take... Oh, I'm supposed to take the elevator. Whoops. I think, right? Can you take the elevator? Can you take the elevator? Does the elevator come up? No. Okay. You're really supposed to walk this baby all the way down? Dude, that sucks. What a shitty star. You teleport? You... Come on, kids don't know. This path? I'm coming. I know they want you to jump, but it's so much funnier imagining a kid just very gingerly. Don't want to drop the baby. Can I put the baby on the elevator alone? him and go back. He's dead. Whatever. I killed him. Wait, what was that? Oh, that's the wind. Okay. No, that counts. I killed him. Can't have any witnesses. Oh. I cannot believe that baby cost me sub 20 like a month ago. on the lineage. <sighs> it is done. Honestly cathartic. Honestly cathartic. Man. Go kill Mips? How do you do that? How do you kill Mips? Ba, 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 ba. Play tabletop sim? I don't even know if they're ready. Dude, it's 11.10. We were supposed to play at 10 o'clock.
Joe Schmo show? Actually, yeah. I need to watch an episode of that. There's Joe show, Schmo show. There's a uh, superhero show. Go beat Toad's ass. Come here. Beat his ass. Wait, does, do they fade out when you talk to them? Is that what? That's kind of neat. God, man. If that, uh, if you're far enough away, well, I just talked to him and he faded out right away. But I guess he's back now. I did not expect to get sub twenty. I really didn't. Jeez. Think you'd do, ever do a casual 120 playthrough now? I actually do. Yeah, I'd like to do that, I think. I think I would like to do that. That'd be fun. I'd like that. Season 2 of content was amazing. That's a good point. I guess this is, like, the end of that now. Not to say Mario 64 won't still be around, but, like, you know, we finished React Wars, and now we finished Mario. Damn. Do the Mario 64 Plus mod. I was gonna do uh, the Switch one, but I can. We can do that too. Ask simply to review your run. I don't know if simply wants to review a, a barely sub 20 run by some shitter. If he'd like to, you know. That'd be neat and clickbait. I mean, like, that'd be for his channel, though. I don't know, because, like, that wouldn't go on my channel. If he wants to review it, sure, but I don't think he'd be into it. Jeez. Ask him to review yours and you review his. I watched the 120 run. I'd just be what champing the whole time, just. Challenge small ant? No way. Does he? I don't think he plays 64, right? I don't think so. Dude, that's literally me whenever I see the, um. Whenever I see, uh, what's it called? Pillarless. I'm like, I actually hit the what champ. Bet small ant 20 subs, he can't beat you in one day. He absolutely could not beat me in one day. No way. I could probably be like, you can't beat it in a week. A week is a lot of time, though, actually. He's pretty good. Mm. Three days. I would bet him 20 subs. I don't know if he'd be down for 20 subs. I feel like that wouldn't be, like, a good challenge for him, you know? Because, like, the dude has, like, 6K. What's 20, you know? <laughs> take it for sure well no because he would have to devote time on his stream to do it and if he doesn't want to play mario 64 for like eight hours a day you know he's got his own shit but maybe if he want to jeez man i'm just like i i'm i'm still sort of reeling a little bit. The fact that we made it, you know? Shoot. Alright.
ba, 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 na, na. Yeah, I guess we're not. I don't think we're doing uh, tabletop tonight. Basically, the group is a little, you know, flaky. More that we didn't have, like, a solid group, so we'll do it another night. Probably Tuesday, but we'll see. Shoo! All right. Professor Pac-Man? No, we already did that. We did that the other night. You can't have too much Professor Pac-Man. Come on. That's crazy. That's silly. Okay. Man, I, I'm still, like, reeling in a weird way, you know? Jeez. Making the broken door an emote. <laughs> Let's watch an episode of Joe Schmo. Let's see if it's worth checking out more. Alright, that's what we'll do. Get sub 20 and bug snacks? I did that first time. Man. God, it feels good to do a thing you've been wanting to do for a long time. There's always that feeling of, like, it's just not going to happen. And it's okay for me because I have all the time in the world. I could just run it forever. But there's always that feeling that, like, it's just never going to, and it's just going to suck forever, you know? Damn. That does feel nice. Just sort of soaking in it. Okay. All right, Joe Schmo Show. Let's try it. I don't know if this show will be good, but we'll give it a try. Where the fuck do I watch it? Here? Watch now. On Microsoft? Still miss Factor Fiction? It'll come back. It'll come back. Don't worry. Kristen Wiig? No. Thought she was on it. I was going to say, what? Yeah, I can't find it. Let's see. Everything says they're full episodes, but they're not. Oh, they're all deleted videos. Oh. Got it. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, man. Let me try this. We're going to try a different show. And I'm going to look for Joe Schmo on the side. We'll see if this one's good. Family guy. Actually, before we start, let me go to the bathroom. One sec. Uh, let me go pee. Let's see if this is worth watching. All right, pee break. I'll be... Wait, did I... Do I still have it? Oh, no, I closed it. Okay, I found it. Pee break. Oh, wait, this isn't the extended version. What? What? 
What if I have to take a long pee? Here we go. All right. I'll be right back. One second. Still feeling the high, you know? It's crazy. Dude, this is also sci fi. Sci fi was crazy. After the vaccine, fine. Second dose didn't do anything to me. Second dose didn't do anything. The first dose fucked me up. Second dose was fine. I had a headache, but. Oh, God. All right, we're going to watch one episode tonight. One more, one more. No, not tonight. No shake. Newbie is going to submit your pop-off to weekly speedrunning highlights. Oh, yeah, sure. Go for it. Absolutely. Thank you for asking, though. I appreciate it. Whew. Hold on. Yeah, the first one fucked me up. The second one did not. Oh, hold on. I'm, I'm trying to turn down the lights a little bit. I had Pfizer, though. I don't know if that changes anything, but... Da -da 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 -da. God, I'm happy, man! God! Just that, that feeling of relief. To feel like I got it, you know? I don't have to worry about it anymore. Now, if I run it, it's just like... It's done, and if I hit it, that's good, but I don't need to, like... Ah, oh. it's nice. Sorry, give me a second. Oops. Did I unplug this? Oh, I did. Shit. Sorry. So this is this connects on Wi-Fi. Um. And my Wi-Fi is not working. But I don't want these bright ass lights blazing, you know? Yars did say that. He did say that. Here's Zenodo with the tip of the hat for me. <laughs> I love that. Zenodo and I have actually been playing uh, some herbs together lately. I've, I've, I'm on herbs, like, really late. So we, we actually, ironically enough, we've been playing some stuff together, but dude, that tip of the hat is so funny. He was in a beef with a Smash 4 player, and after after one of the tweets, that's how he ended it, and it was so funny, and I was like, you should have just ended every tweet like that. You should have just ended every single fucking tweet with that thing, you know? All right. All right. Let's watch a movie. Somewhere inside all of us, 
Wait, this is gonna feel so good. Ready? Exit. Do you want to save? Wait, before I do that. Before I do that. What's my best? Oh, wait, that's... It's literally my best. Yeah, okay, never mind. I was gonna say, isn't there a way to do... Wait, no, it's like this. Update, yes. What's my... Damn, 1810. Some of best is 1810. Good year. Good year. God, I can't believe I did it. I'm so happy. Fuck. Fuck, that feels good. Oh! Hell yeah, man. Okay. Bro. It's the opportunity of a lifetime. I, I, I want to be, I wanna be a, a superhero. It's the chance to make lifelong fantasies a reality. The source of life, I am tubeculous. Slimeball, baby, it's slimeball. <laughs> I'm Monkey Woman. But more than anything, the last hero. Where's the ball guy? The one prize money can buy. Where's the ball guy? This is something I've really wanted to do since I was little. This is the culmination of everything I've done in my life. I like the blob. Place. In a contest unlike any other, one winner will have their character immortalized in an Wait, original comic him. book by Stan Lee, the mastermind behind the greatest superheroes in history. Being immortalized by this master of all. Wait. I can watch it in high quality. I found high quality. Sec. I have to make an account. Basically, it says I have three credits. And the credits can be used to watch something for free. Now, it is with ads, which is kind of cringe, but at least it'll look good. Spanish ad, too. All right. Hell yeah, high quality. Let's go. Somewhere inside all of us lives a hero. This is high quality for 20, 2006. This is before YouTube. Source of life, I am tubeculous. Slimeball, baby, it's slimeball. I'm monkey woman. What did, what could that ball possibly do? Will receive the one prize money can buy. Immortality. This is something I've really wanted to do since I was little. This is the culmination of everything I've done in my life up to this point. In a contest unlike any other, one winner will have their character immortalized <laughs> in an original I want you guys also to to think about it this way. This was like before superheroes were cool. Like this is before Iron Man. So, like, there weren't these movies. You know what I'm saying? These didn't exist. So this was even weirder back then. Comic book by Stan Lee. The mastermind behind the greatest superheroes in history. Being immortalized by this master of all superheroes. When I say cool, I mean, like, relatively. I don't mean actually cool. We all know that cape shit is crazy. Saturday night Shake. Movie. I feel like I have died, and this is my own personal heaven. <laughs> God, you know, that is weird to think about now. Now that I'm watching this, like, it was so geeky back then, and now it's, like, such a normalized thing. Fifteen years later, and all these fucking Avengers movies, and, oh, my God, there cinematic universes. Every really good we get it. You're a contrarian. Whole, not about everything. Inside. Come on. And that's what will test you on. It's a serious job. <laughs> Only on the shit that matters. And unique challenges. That was not a little girl. Twists. Who is this child's mother? Our oh, wait, it is a little girl. I'm in my arms. I we'll thought that was like the teenager voice. Never that mind. Make up a true hero. The only way to the other side is across that beam. They'll face situations that will test their courage, like attempting to rehabilitate convicted felons. <laughs> <laughs> they do know that this is not a conjugal visit. You trying to tell me how to live my life? You look ridiculous. I do look ridiculous. I could really use a hug. <laughs> then experience a roller coaster of emotions. This is ridiculous. I would never do that. One by They're one. in costume the all the time. Will be eliminated in a dramatic ceremony like 
no other. They're on a rooftop? It is broken. When you tell me you're proud of me, I think of my father, sir. Mr. Lee, I am so sorry. I failed you. Maybe two episodes. Maybe two. Maybe two. To meet the world's next great superhero. Hold on. Let me see if I can get subtitles on. Or if they're going to spoil. Stan Lee's next is this good? Comic book superhero. Welcome to what will become the adventure of a lifetime. Excelsior! Excelsior! Oh, hold on. Wait a minute before we start. I got to turn these back on. Everybody needs to know we're only one away from the sub goal. How else will they know? Phew. Major victory. Cell phone girl. Levity. Creature. Pretty good names. Not bad names. Yeah. Okay, maybe not that one. Her name was, uh, Lemuria. My name is Stan Lee. This was my mission. I <laughs> set out superhero to find the umbrella. world's next great superhero. Thousands applied from all over the planet. Maybe one or two from other planets. All I had to do was now to the best 12. Thank you, Jeremy. That turned out to be a lot easier said than done. Oh, stuff is blocking subtitles? Oh, you're right. True wing, true wing. I'll go up here. There you go. What is your name? By the source of light, I am Tibeculus. Slimeball, baby, it's Slimeball. No, he definitely said Tibeculus, not Tiveculus. That was definitely a B. What is your name? By the source of light, I am Tibeculus. Slimeball, baby, it's Slimeball. I think. <laughs> I'm Monkey Woman. My name is Ice Bitch. And what about <laughs> a catchphrase? Freeze, mother f I sing, Fat Mama, Fat Mama, I'm here to save the day. Fat Mama, Fat Mama, I'll take your food away. Ooh! <laughs> fat Mama, that was great. I'm Danger Man, the one they're talking about. Viva the mullet. I could, I could bounce right over there right now and just take you out. Don't say it. Don't say it. Be a winner, not a wiener. The mirror does not lie. That's vision. I was bored with my hairy ass, and my powers went completely unknown until I uh, got in this outfit. Um, I'm also uh, in fear of my mother, being a Jewish superhero. <laughs> thank you, Charo. Okay. Actually, never mind. No, thank you. enough hummus every day, I lose all my powers. Oh, True. I would imagine that would be the case, wouldn't it? I have some my wife is like that, too. Yeah. Skills but for destruction Same, purposes, man. I like to fight topless. Why exactly are you here? She's trying to get this with Stan Lee. That's what that was. The thing that you're doing is something that I perceive as the culmination of everything I've done in my life up to this point. Now, how about a catch that guy? Phrase? That guy is the Wyatt of this show, by the way. Or the Jesse. He's just, like, sucking up, kissing ass. Like, that's... Ooh, yacht, yacht. What a rush for us. What a boat trip for you. <laughs> thank you very much for coming. No, thank you. Okay. Hoorah. Hoorah. <laughs> that's my favorite. That's a good catchphrase. What the hell does hoorah mean? <laughs> what a rush for us. What a boat trip for you. I like that. I like that. It wasn't easy. Good catchphrase. Very, but very I pithy, you know? I had my elite group of promising superheroes. I instructed a secret transport to move the team to an undisclosed location. I hate that I they showed the who made it in before so the show. Because I grew up as an outcast. I have a partner. His name is Michael. We've been together for 10 years. 
Oh, there good are for them! Gay comic book characters, and I think that if I actually won this, it would be a great role model for a lot of kids out there. This is actually a big deal. I know it doesn't seem like it. This was 2006. This was not common at all. That's actually a big deal back then. Yeah, 2006. That, damn. Good for them. Like, like, 2006 is when people were still, like, teasing each other by calling each other gay. And, like, you hadn't, like, it was very rare to, like, meet a gay person. Because the internet was still, like, not like that, you know? Or at least, like, I don't, not very rare, I should say. But it was, like, a lot of people had never met a gay person. It's a different world, yeah. So you didn't, like, know their experience, you know? Crazy. Okay, that guy wasn't in the intro. I'm just going to keep my eyes and ears open and see what happens. You work in a toy store? Yeah. What do you do in a toy store? I, well, I make uh, custom action figures. Really? Yeah. You want to, like, if you get picked on, what's, like, your plan? Who? That's a Twisted Metal character. I'm a raw foodist, and I drive a waste vegetable oil car, and... This is my opportunity to show lots of people options for lifestyle choices that maybe they hadn't previously known about. This guy's the main character. He's trying so hard. I made a lot of mistakes in my life. I used to be an exotic dancer, which took a toll on my relationship with my daughter. I wasn't there. I wasn't a part of her life. I would love for this experience to give me a chance to be a hero in her life. Huh? That's the first information you offer? What kind of... That has to be a superhero backstory. That's not his real life. That can't be his real life. Major victory. I'm Creature. Hi, Creature. You and I are going to the club. <laughs> Major victory. He's going to be entertaining. He weird champed the fuck out of that. Be God. No, don't point at me. No. I'm here for one reason and one reason only, destiny. Annihilation is my name, winning is my game. Oh, man. Dude, what's on your arm, Enforcer? This here is the most high-tech weapon to date. Can it cock a bathroom? <laughs> Nidalee! It's Nidalee! For me, this is a chance to use some of my obscure talents, like climbing trees and monkey screeching, and the idea of winning this. That's and actually just fucking Nidalee. It's just the shitty Nidalee cosplay. Immortalized in comic book form is just the coolest thing ever. <laughs> the record screen. Oh, this show's funny. This show's funny. Fat mama making the earthquake. My Donuts on her belt. Inspired me to be here, and I want to prove to them that just because you're fat and overweight doesn't mean that you can't be happy and do the things that other people do. I'm gonna rid the world of bullies one donut at a time. Good for her. When you eat donuts, what happens? Oh, they give me the superpower. I love fat like mama. I'm a little worried about young people. <laughs> what is this setup? What is this? Where are we? Donuts being part of loving your body. What the fuck? Who's this? I work at the comic book store part time and on weekends. It's like the coolest job ever. I am obsessed with comic books. I know everything there is to know about every superhero. G That's like a Crash Bandicoot character. I never miss an issue. Oh my god. I love cell phones. I'm always on the This phone. is back when cell phones people. were like a novelty. So when it came to being a superhero, Holy shit. I just knew I was cell phone girl. This is before cell phones were like everywhere. Oh man. This guy's winning the show. This guy's winning the show. After my father died when I was 14, my role models were the superheroes. This fucking guy. Comic books. And to become one of those people that I looked up to would be the culmination of my life. I couldn't get the time off, so 
I quit my job to be on this show. Yeah, this guy's the MC. This guy is the main character. Absolutely. He's got a sad backstory. He thinks Stan Lee is his dad. And here's Tyler 1. What the fuck? I have three boys, six, five, and three, and they are my motivation for being here. It looks and like fucking Tyler 1. I got to get him to take the helmet off. To be a superhero. Holy they shit. Cool. To have me on a comic book will give them the joy that they'll be able to have. Oh, wait. He's a fireman. Oh, wait. 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 Fireman with kids. Stan decided to have a little fun, so he let the sci-fi.com fans choose the final contestant. And they chose me. So I'm not gonna let them down. I am gonna win this thing. Okay. Superheroes! Yeah. I've never met any other superheroes before. Let's have a party! <laughs> Thank you, Adi. Nice, very nice. Party time. I could definitely get used to this. <laughs> Robot style. Yeah. You have to be a monkey the entire time you're on this show. What a curse. Oh, shit. Hold it there. This is serious business. Couldn't get any better lights, Stan? Don't you realize what you're there for? We're looking for the next superhero. What room is he in? I've spent my life creating superheroes. <laughs> they don't act like that. You're all fired. Bring in ice, bitch. Everyone needs a little time to relax. And since Maria switched the game fabric so I'm not listening to your ad. I'll watch it. People ignore. My ass is not listening. Whew. Bro, how does Safe Light have so many fucking ads? I hear so many fucking safe, safe light repair, safe light replace, but like, is this a common enough thing that they have ads all the time? The camera attached to my That's glass. That's so weird. So my safety systems still work. Who knew that was a thing? Safe light has. They're backed by I car insurance trust. companies. Safe light repair, safe, safe light replace. In Peytonville, there's lots of ways to save I on hate car insurance. insurance. Really? Yeah. Car insurance Very commercials are my that. least favorite. With Smart I fucking Drive hate them. They can get discounts for safe driving. Because Geico made safest like driver in funny non sequiturs, and, and now every company does it. Safest driver in Peytonville. What about this guy? With Nationwide Smart Miles, the less he drives, the less he pays. The list of inspiring. I mean, it does work. On on. You know, I bet. But I've never seen anyone do more with their retirement than you. I concur. How many ads are there? I feel like I'm on Twitch. This is crazy. This is our shot. The COVID-19 vaccines are ready. And oh, I so should be Walker, running ads. What the fuck? Pharmacy experts ready to I make should be running ads. You to get it safely true wing. For free. Because that is a big is true wing for me. Holy shit. Getting back together. But I forgot. I'm not doing it right now. Dude, I really wanted 10 minutes of ads on my stream. They wouldn't You're give it to me. I don't have it. I wanted to use it. Lair, not, not a joke. This place is too At the end of streams. You're going to your own hidden bat cave. And the address is 11400 Willow. Docs. Don't dare write that down, any of you. Committed to memory. Anybody get that? Yeah, I always run three minutes of, of ads at the end here. of a stream. This sucks. To catch when anybody that arrive, falls asleep. We will all meet and Sleep then bucks. The adventure Intelligence. I've arranged I picked that up from another streamer like five years ago. Is that true? Yes, not a joke. Because I don't run ads any other time. 
How many yes. guys think the place is going to be underground? I'm going to vote yes. No. Underground? Let's see how the fire fire around here, guys. Uh oh. I wish you were in the right place. Criminals! We're not in Kansas anymore. We're not. What's the number again, guys? 11400. You're looking around, and this is a strange location. No. This can't be it. This is it. One one four zero zero. We pull up in front of the uh, the warehouse, and I was like, you know, I don't really think this is this is gonna be the place. <laughs> it was a trick. Stan Lee's just robbing all of them. <laughs> Welcome, superheroes. I'm really glad you found the place, and no, you are not mistaken. This really is the lair. However, I'm Why are you letting him pick you up? You will not be allowed to enter. Oh no! What could Stan have on one of us? It's day one, and we just got here. He did background checks. There happens to be a spy amongst you. <gasps> I've enlisted the help of one of my assistants to infiltrate your group. What? You see. I've got to be sure that all of you are here for the right reason. I can't believe when it. I found out There's actually an imposter? A, one of us was a traitor, and B, one of us was going home. I, I just about burst into tears. Mess up. Come on, I guys. think it's a little you, New York guy. Uh, does anyone see where uh, I went? Right here. Oh. <laughs> are you the spy? Nice what, what about you, Golden Girl? <laughs> Mr. Lee. <laughs> I knew it. Rodeyard, did you gather the information? I did, sir. <laughs> Rodeyard, spelled backwards, is traitor. Oh my god. I've had all of you on tape since the very beginning, watching all of your moves. Recording oh our conversation no! On this secretly hidden camera, and I'm gonna show you what you've done. What have they done? When Play I the footage. Rodeyard's name was backwards for traitor. It just took me away because it never even dawned on me. It's little things now that I know we have to watch out for. Rodeyard, may I please see the footage? <laughs> yes, sir. I found three heroes whose character is suspect. Don't say it. Well, I make uh, custom action figures. Do you make yourself as an action figure? Yes. Oh, so this cool. is kind of a clever way. Like, you become an action hero on this show. And then you sell action figures of yourself. Oh! Yeah, kinda. Yeah. Just How much do you sell that for? They're uh, about between three and five, depending on how expensive. Three uh, and five dollars? No, no, three and five hundred. Three and five hundred dollars. Oh, yeah. he's in I it for the money! money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How could you? I love his body. Oh, I love yeah, your good. body. Oh, I your victory. Major victory. You lustful Major wench! I'm creature. Hi, creature. You and I are going to the club. <laughs> Cast her away. Comfort. Yes. <gasps> Hello, superhero. Oh. Stan Lee would never stand for this. This is delayed release. Explosion ammunition bullets. So you can choose when it goes off. Yes, depending on each person that I want to kill. I don't think superheroes are supposed to be killers. Who are you? To tell me. Look out! Same concept. Look out! There's Bill Strand, don't want to kill people when you're adrenaline. Well, not kill. He's the Punisher! After I leave this house, I'm on my mission to the Middle East. Oh, no. Levity. One of the main Holy of shit! The superhero is selflessness. I understand. 2006 was a very difficult time. It was very different. Character. Very different. Oh my God! Creature. You seem to flirt with I can't every believe that. superhero who flew in here. If I didn't know any better, I'd think you were just here to meet hot guys and types. This is before Tinder. This is the you, only way. Iron Enforcer. You did come off a little abrasive with all that bravado about killing. Superheroes don't kill people; they save people. I. Punisher literally really kills people. Pains me to do this. Deadpool but kills people. I Come have on. To eliminate one of you three. The 
all he heard was superheroes kill people. Is. No way. <laughs> oh, you rascal. Rody Art, how could you? You tried Game Flings for the first time the other day. Man. Real actual ads. Dude, imagine making it all the way to the end of the show. And then just, like, you get past the screening process. Run an ad? All right, one minute. One minute ad. This will be longer than a minute. All right, ad's running. Don't leave. D well, they already see the ad. If you don't see the ad, hi, thanks for supporting the channel. Don't see the ad. Turn off ad block. <laughs> Help me. Bro, come on. <laughs> Who are you rating after the show? I don't know. I'll have to see who's on. God, what a good night. We did the story thing, which is good. Uh, Waluigi's Taco Stand might make a YouTube video. I don't know. I don't know if it's funny enough, but it was pretty good. Got the sub 20. I'm trying to build a... Uh, thank you, Burbo. I'm trying to build a backlog of content because I'm going on vacation in late May. So I'm trying to come up with shit, you know? Jesus, this takes forever. Phew. I did get sub-20. Yep, yep, yep. Check the VOD. Beep it. What about that one rectangle in the middle of the screen? Do I have a rectangle in the middle of the screen? Is there a dead pixel? Oh, wait, there is. What the fuck? What is that? What? Is that a... Has that always been there? Wait, was that there the whole time? No? What? It's not on my screen. It appeared when you ran the app. Dude, I literally don't have that. It's still there. Is it a cam? What? What is that? Oh, I found it. It's... It's a window capture for... Oh, it's... It's you. <laughs> I... I, <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Hello. <laughs> uh, I think... You know what I think it is? I think it's from Salty Bet. I think it, it was the uh, prediction thing. Hi, everybody. <laughs> That's so weird. Okay. Superheroes. <laughs> the person who will not be entering the lair is. Get rid of the killing guy. Oh, wait, creature. Creature's gone. Creature's gone. Levity. There's a trash can to your right in front of Major Victory. I'm afraid I've got to ask you to turn in your costume. They got rid of him on the first. He didn't even go in. What you say? <laughs> Rody Art! It's alright, guys. He's grinning. <laughs> gotcha. Got Toys over war crimes? Doing it for profit. How could you? Take off your pants! Get naked in front of all of your superhero brethren! Zap it! I'm really disappointed that I'm not gonna be able to continue on. But I'm gonna have to go home and tell everybody that, uh, was the first person kicked off. There Get out. Got <laughs> Ready up. Escort him out. <laughs> Superheroes, for now, Holy proceed shit. through those doors and take the freight elevator upstairs to the lair. I'll meet you on the top floor. I can't even imagine how hard it's going to be seeing people go one by one. Or if I go. 
you're going to see a lot of tears. Dude, feedback is winning. Feed, That's for sure. 30 yard body count one. Hello. What? Hi. Is there a freight elevator? Freight elevator. Is this like an escape room? Is that it? So we're looking for this elevator, and all we find is this old rickety wooden crate attached dental floss to a pulley system with a sign that says condemned. And I'm looking around thinking, how much do uh, superheroes weigh? I was gonna say, what if this isn't content and the whole thing just breaks? Not a part of the show. Ten dead. Oh shit! It's like a superhero wet dream. It's surreal yet fantastic. There's like no lighting. What the fuck? This is so bizarre. Elevator open. They all have like twin a beds. Animal let out of a cage. <laughs> Secret layers. Of they the all sleep in the same room. Like the seven dwarves. Look at the gate. It's like. Oh. When oh, they kick somebody off, do they take the bed out? In the dining room. Come join me. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. Have a seat. Let's all enjoy a meal together. <laughs> Now, I realize Family that photo. during the next six weeks, we can't test you on who can leap the tallest building or fly the highest or Why not? who can stop a speeding locomotive with your pinky. That's not what this competition is all about. Every really good superhero has what's That's important their job. on the inside. It's about heart, compassion, intelligence, courage, honesty, and integrity. And those are the human characteristics that you'll be tested on. Welcome to what will become the adventure of a lifetime. Wait a minute. Is that the stripper superhero? What's her name? Stripperella, yeah. Stan. Become the adventure of a lifetime. Stan, how are you I'm mad at Creature? Proud. You all have so far. <laughs> you can't be mad at Creature and then... And the okay. light bulb went on. What he wants is for us to be superhumans. I think it would be easier for me to fly. Over in the corner, there's a box with your own personal communicator in it. There are going to be times when I have to get in touch with you personally. They have walkie talkies. So sure keep it with you at all times. Oh my god. <laughs> so cool! When I got my communicator, I was like, this is insane. And I mean, I've been wanting one of these since I was a kid. Just to like hold it in my hand. This is before oh, cell phones, awesome. guys. This is. Tomorrow when there were cell up, phones, but they were very I rare. dress in your ordinary clothes. That'll make sense to you soon enough. Excelsior to you! Excelsior! You all know what Excelsior means. God, that's crazy. Some of you guys are 19, an old and you were four years old when this was which on. Which means upward Fuck. and onward to crazy. greater glory. Crazy. I was 18. I was 18. Oh, fuck. I'm so, so up, old. We put on our street clothes, and we headed out to do our first official superhero mission. It's one of these type of things. Okay, true believers, listen up. All superheroes must be able to change from their everyday clothes into their superhero costumes at a moment's notice. Now, this challenge you're about to embark on... It's Could they really not the film with him? Think Clark Kent like, he just has to be on a TV the whole time? When I summon you on your communicators, you must quickly find a place to change without anyone noticing. Then, you must run as fast as you can. The finish line is that purple archway. The one who completes the task the fastest in true superhero-like fashion wins the challenge. Oh, God. Now, good luck, superheroes. 
I'm counting on you. Who has I the easiest costume? Our first competition was changing in public. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> he has a giant fucking gun. Where are you gonna put that? Feedback. Do your best. Go. What kind of fit is that? Behind the porta potty? I'll give it up. I'm not super self conscious this music? about changing in front of other people, but the most important thing for me was I needed no one to see me. You know, otherwise it kind of ruins the whole secret identity thing. <gasps> oh, I saw someone. Feedback away! Sprint to the crime feedback! Someone help her! Will he complete the challenge or help the little girl? No feedback! Help the girl! Help the girl feed! It's a test! Oh no! Feedback! Feedback! No! The girl is lost! This could not be more important to me, so I take everything very seriously and follow instructions to the letter. Oh no! Feedback! What have you done? Feedback is gone. Oh, he didn't even help her. That's so cringe. <laughs> I can't believe he didn't know that was a test. No part of his brain was like, actually, this is probably something from Stan Lee. Is feedback a tryhard? Yes. Feedback is a, um, feedback is the Wyatt of the show, or the Jesse. Like, he is, he is just, yeah. I wonder why there's so many cameras pointed at this lost child. He thinks they're pointed at him. Feedback's like, I'm glad all these cameras are getting me. Wonder what this kid is crying about anyway. <laughs> it's all about you, Feedback. Jesse would have figured out that was part of the show. Yeah, and Jesse would have, like, Found out how to use the girl. It just means so much to me to be able to help little kids. I have five little girls of my own, and if I saw them crying like that, I know that I'd be helping them. Dude, I had that. It was gross. Yeah, it was bad. Because I like peach or mango stuff, and I was like, ah, I'll try it. Don't drink it. Not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. These ads suck. Yeah, I... Sorry. It's either high quality with ads or shitty quality with no ads, but I, I would rather take the high quality. And it gives us a chance to talk. You know? Dude, Mal had an uh, Audi. Audi? Audi. Because she, um... Because her car got hit and uh, got kind of totaled. And it's a very nice car. It wasn't that one, but it was nice. <laughs> How's your night going? Amazing. We had a very good stream tonight. And this show looks very good. Remember, you're a superhero. Now find a place to change and Why do you have to remind her of that? Go. By the way, you're a superhero. Okay, where can I go? I bet you was. Go. Who's gonna help the little girl, you think? Cell phone girl, it's time. Go. Tyveculus isn't even running. What? How you doing? Good. What? <laughs> I was really careful to make sure that nobody saw me when I was changing. He's hiding in them? Just go in it! <gasps> oh, she's been spotted. They saw her. Uh-oh! Identity ruined. Run, cell phone girl! girl call her mom that's so funny that she was like ah it's the show it's the sh like she didn't even want to help this girl she just she had that smile like ah 
I know what this is. Where did you see her last? I don't know. <laughs> what if Stanley punishes her? I told you to complete to it as quickly as possible. Cell phone girl, you're not Stan Lee material. <laughs> it's not a test. Holy shit! Everybody saw that, by the way. I'm lost! Nobody help me! Who cares? Goodbye! Tyveculus, wait! Tyveculus, turn around! No, Tyveculus! I hope that it may stand proud. I fulfilled my objective. I did so quickly. So be it. <laughs> Tyveculus, no! You can make it. Come on, fat mama! Help me! Let's go, fat oh, she's gonna help, for sure. I can't believe that they have this sign for the Just security the office. She knows it's a test. Holy shit. I know as a mother, I would be devastated if my child was lost. True and egg. I would yeah. want someone to help her. I'll give it up. I'll give it up. Lumeria, go. <laughs> Use the gun. Monkey woman, go. Oh. What? Did she try to parkour? Watch that. Monkey woman, go. <laughs> oh, that wasn't monkey woman. No. Oh, shit. Monkey woman is con- Oh, good shit. Let's go, monkey woman. That's sick. Let's go. I can't find my mom. Wait. What? Do monkeys care for their young? No. <laughs> this is very much in keeping with Monkey Woman. I think I made Stan proud. <laughs> I fucking love this show. Dude, so when I was younger, I watched this show. I don't remember anything about it. I can't believe this is so fucking good. Let's go. He probably had the easiest time getting dressed. Does he stop for the- Prediction. Prediction. Does he stop for the girl? Quick. <laughs> Quick. Does he stop? I want to run one. Quickly. Dude, this guy of all people is the hardest one. Alright. Hold on. Prediction's going up. Go quick. Go quick. Go quick. Go quick. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm going to... Hold on, let me see. I want to pop it out quickly so people can't look it up. Fuck, where is it? Where is it? Prediction, prediction, prediction. Oh, I can't, I can't do it because somebody else did it. Okay, stop submissions. Oh, wait, no, now I can do it. Now I can do it. Okay. Here we go. Help me. <laughs> submissions Help me. close. Thank you, Keen. The answer was clear. Absolutely nothing distracted me. I saw the, I saw the arches. I focused on it. The answer was clear. You should have known. Yeah. Yeah, you should have known. He's the only one I wanted to run a prediction on, really. <laughs> Is it three women and no guys, by the way? Lemuria? I've been lost as a little girl. I'd never want that to happen to anybody Aww. else. Aww. Nitro G. Let's see what you can do. Go. <laughs> this music. Go. That's the most open spot, Major Nitro G. Man. What the fuck? What, what is do. he doing? He's in the most open spot. Go. 
What are you guys doing? Imagine, like, being out eating your lunch. Like, you're out here at this plaza eating your lunch, and you just keep seeing this happen. This little girl just keeps crying for mom, and superheroes of various colors just keep running past. Did you hear what he said? What he said? I may be little, but I am fat. He's so fat. He's too fast. He can't hear. He's too fast. Will creature help her? Will creature help? Woman is a landlord, so makes sense why she has no empathy. Come on. What creature? Wait, creature? Wait. What? <laughs> creature made eye contact with her. Oh. What was that run? What? Captain Content. I love him. This is security office over here. Here, climb in my arms. <laughs> Thank you. Am I gonna see her? Captain I'm Content, her. away! <laughs> I might not have had the fastest time today, Holy but shit. I felt like a winner, not a wiener. He's the main character. Oh my this god. Actually wasn't a test about speed. Oh. I had placed a little girl right before the finish line who obviously uh -oh. needed help. Uh oh. That crying child was the most important element of this test. You blew it. When I found out the true challenge today. He's green screen on their phones, so they're all just looking at their phone. I just came no. in because It. Go back I thought he was going to start crying. Meet me on the rooftop. It's time for an elimination. Oh, two eliminations in one episode? Yeah, Nitro G looks like Tiny Frank. Yeah. Are you tired of clean clothes that just don't... Who do you think is gone? Well, I guess it depends on time, right? Dude, I, what's his name is on thin ice. The, the the fucking gun man, the gun guy, is on thin ice. Because he fucked up. I don't think feedback's gone. No, I think it's the weapon guy. Because the weapon guy was already on the chopping block, and then he fucked that up. Creature 2. They're going to keep feedback. Feedback is a kiss ass. They want him on the show. Oh, man. This show is good. This is good. Phew. This is a good show. I dig it. I love Captain Content. Captain Content is so fucking funny. Oh, man. Maybe we watch two. I said only one tonight. Maybe two? You know? Maybe? Maybe? Been busy, but congrats on 2K. Uh, Vince, we hit sub-20 tonight. We did not get to play uh, uh, Snake Oil, but we hit sub-20. Woohoo. Okay. How many episodes? I think 12. Yeah, we did. Go back and watch the VOD if you guys uh, want to see it. I didn't think we would. I wasn't taking it seriously. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. In case you guys weren't here. Here, I'll show you right now. Do you see that hole in my door? When I hit sub 20, I, like, popped off, and I did it too hard, and I ran into that door, and I tried to catch myself, and my hand went through the door. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. I, uh, I, I didn't punch it. I literally tried to catch myself as I was running, and then, yeah. Phew! 
You may have sub 20, but did you see the crying girl near the end of the run? I'm running in, in Bowser 3. Help, I can't find my mom. It's a Goomba. I can't find my mom. Yahoo! Waha! The crying baby penguin. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. It was intense. It was definitely intimidating. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. My mom drops me. Where's your mother? <laughs> Mario, where's your mother? Down that <laughs> down that mountain. Okay. <laughs> Let's go down the mountain sliding. Oh. That's funny. That's really funny. Man. Where is this penguin's mother? Superheroes, it's time for one of you to This leave. show is funny. Oh, we're three people on the chopping Stay block? On the billboard yeah! tonight in the elimination round. I have so Watch much tomorrow. to do tomorrow. He's not Please like watch figure. one more, though. I kind of want to watch one more. We'll see. Trip. We'll see. We'll Today, see how you guys are feeling. did a challenge that showed me a lot. It's been a good night. It's Some been a very good night. Fantastic. Good stream. Fantastic. Some were not. I was appalled at those of you who did not stop to help that little girl. True. Tonight, I'm afraid one of you will be going home because of that. Creature, Tyveculus. Monkey woman, you did not stop. Nitro G, Iron Enforcer. <laughs> Naming Feedback. everybody individually? You did not stop. Is it like men versus women? That's a, why did they, whatever. Three of you will be asked to step forward and stand upon the red Iron Enforcer is gone, tell yeah. tell me why it I has should to not be. eliminate you. Nitro G. Not only did you not stop for that little girl, but you changed your clothes right out in the open where yeah. everyone could see. Yeah, he might be gone. You were told to be inconspicuous. That was anything but. Stop smiling. <laughs> it really is very serious. Wait, maybe he's... He's also from uh, Staten Island. He might know Frank. He looks just like Frank, and Frank was from Staten Island too, I think. That's crazy. Nitro G. I'm afraid I'll be friends. have to ask you to step on. Maybe he is cube. Frank. This is years before, you know. <laughs> I heard it. They're all laughing. Omega laugh. When Stan announced my name, I knew that was it. I was done. I was going home. Monkey woman. The be serious, listen, monkey woman. I'm not sure that you did. Oh! That girl turned her head and looked right at you. You appeared to glance over, but just kept running. Oh! Start the waterworks. How could Monkey you? Woman, I must ask you to step onto the red cube. Monkey Woman had the best, uh, had the best change scene though. You know. Iron Enforcer. Yeah, he's gone. He's I've gone. already told you that superheroes don't kill people; <laughs> they save people. That. Combined with the fact that you ignored that poor child really makes Bro, what is going on here? He worked like one side but not the other. Really makes me question if you have the qualities that make up a true superhero. Iron Enforcer. Actually, maybe the gun is really heavy, so he, have to, he has to flex that side all the time. Yeah, you have to keep the gun up. Shit's heavy. I'm not making fun of him. I'm honestly wondering, like, how does that happen? Is it like a... You know, standing on these blocks, is it like a chest hole thing? Like, like it just happens to some people? Like Chris Jericho, you know? Office when I was a little kid. Happens with surgery? No. Oh, okay. I would like each of the three of you to now tell me why you should not be oh, eliminated. Man. He probably I tore it in the past. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. You go first. I'd first like to apologize. I did make a mistake, and I'm owning up to that. And I promise that if you give me a chance, I will learn from that. And I won't fail you again, Mr. Lee. 
Thank you, Nitro Gene. I will <laughs> take that into consideration. They can't get rid of Iron Enforcer, Monkey right? Monkey Woman, I need to know. Did you ignore that girl on purpose? <laughs> Mr. Lee, I am so sorry. I failed you. Answer the question. I missed that child. I did not hear her. I did not see her. I get very focused to a fault. And I miss things that are happening around me sometimes. And I learned oh, that tonight. Oh, no. And I hope you'll give me a second chance. I will not. What if Stan Lee just said, cringe? Thank you. This is where the phrase was born. Iron Enforcer. <laughs> he just dropped cringe here. I should not eliminate you tonight. Monkey woman. You're cringe. I'm sorry, sir, for letting you down this afternoon. There was much <laughs> drama going on. So stupid. And I couldn't focus on the little girl crying. I was only focusing on the mission. But my true nature as a human being, immortal, is of caring helping others based on what thank you iron enforcer when did he ever this give off that impression difficult decision but as i stated <laughs> iron enforcer should have said if you eliminate me i'll kill you <laughs> it's like the villain arc he blasts the screen <laughs> Eliminate me at your own peril. Stan Lee would have cracked up. Yeah, he probably would have been gone, but it would have been so fucking funny. I bet he would have eliminated him, but he would have been like, hey, listen, we need a villain for this show. Listen, you could make it. That would be very fucking funny. There can only be one winner. Oh, shit. The person who will leave the lair tonight is... That would actually be amazing. Nitro G. I got Nitro G leaving. I think it's Nitro. When our daughter and her kids... It's Nitro because he changed out in the open. Monkey Woman gets sympathy for crying, and she had a really cool uh, changing scene. Um, Iron Enforcer is content. They don't want to get rid of him. Nitro G has no qualities. Whew. Nitro G's gone. Yahoo! Telling you. Crocodile tears from the weird landlord lady who could have guessed, yes, I am passionate about this. He's really stuck on this. Man. Listen, we'll watch one more. If we can hit 2077. How about that? If we can get in the future. Shake? Hmm? Huh? Any CD Projekt Red fans? Huh? Huh? <laughs> oh my god, thank you, Scout Marksman. Ninja Biden in chat. Dude, that... I can't believe I beat that whole game. I 100%. Thank you, Ino. Okay, we're done. We're done. 2077 is a name on here? That's excellent. Okay, we hit it. We're good. We're good. No more. No more. Begging for subs? It is a suggestion for subs. Come on. It is a suggestion that you give me your money. If people take the suggestion, you know, any disposable income? Thank you, future Coco. No more. No more. That's all. We, we skipped 2077. The time has come. This is a very difficult decision. But <laughs> at Rodiart earlier, there can only be one winner. That's actually a good Twitch name. That'd be good. Therefore, the person who will leave the lair tonight. Nitro G, Nitro G, Nitro G, Nitro G, Nitro G. He is the worm of the show, yeah. But I think it's Nitro G. Nitro G. Yup. He's gone. Sorry, little fella. Oh, die. Holy shit. What is that noise? 
Son, you still have a little growing up to do. <laughs> but tomorrow is another day, and I'm sure I shall see you again. When? I will Night be honest, I might have remembered this. Turn in your costume. Because remember, I've watched this show. I think I watched it up to like episode 8 or 9 when I was a kid. And I don't remember seeing a lot of this guy. So I may have cheated there. But I did. I It wasn't that I knew he got eliminated. I don't remember seeing him, you know? I forgot he existed. What is that I really face? Thought that I would have been here a lot longer. I knew I messed up when I found out there was a little girl there. I should have been more conscious. I should have been more aware. It wasn't about the race. It wasn't about the changing. It was about helping a person in need. And I totally didn't notice. After this experience, I'm gonna go back Man. home. I'm gonna work at becoming a better hero and a better person. Damn. Thank you, snacks. Speed ran his elimination. He was fast. He wasn't Super first heroes. out, though. I told you at the beginning that some of our challenges would not be as simple as they appeared. Yeah. Now I think you That's realize true. what I was talking about. I wish you all luck. Man. You're going to need it. <laughs> that smile! Stan Lee is such a shithead, dude! Thank you, Nash Entertainment. Can I get a Drake for Nash Entertainment for the subs? Getting the subtitles, huh? Thank you, Nash Entertainment. So, I get three credits before I have to make an account. I think I can link my uh, cable provider with my... Um... Oh, wait, that might be a spoiler. Because that's later episodes, sorry. Um, let me see. We're doing one more. We're doing more. I get three credits that I can do this. So what I'm thinking is I'll figure out the other part later. Bathroom break? Uh, sure. Take a take a quick. Two minutes. Two minutes. Very quick. Very quick. Hold on. Two minutes starting now. Go. Fast. Oh, God. That was loud. Sorry. Quick potty break. Ring bum bum bum. A dooby doo doo. A booby ba ba. I'll get the ads out of the way. Hope you guys are having a good evening. Tonight's stream was good, man. I can't believe we got all that done. Nuts. I still can't believe that's the 20 minute run, too. Because, like, I, I was not paying attention. I didn't really care. I did not think we were doing it. Whew. No snake oil? Yeah, I think we're gonna do that Tuesday. Tuesday. Um, me, E.E., -E, Toph, Hugo, hugs. Um, I was trying to get Atriarch and Stans on it. Uh, they might be available. But we're gonna try to play some snake oil. What's Snake Oil? A very, very fun board game. Thank you, Deli Sauce. Hey, Coney, have you heard of the Greek hero character Bofades? Shrimp Giver. I like that name. Both days. No, that doesn't. That hero sucks. Yeah. Shitty hero. That's why I haven't heard of him. 
All right. <coughs> hey, Coney, I just wanted to say thanks. Thanks, Wes. I've been working overtime night shifts this past month, and your streams helped me get through them a lot easier. No, Wes, you got through your night streams. I just helped you. <laughs> it's very funny to me. That's what he said. Yeah, I know. That's fun. I think that's funny. That's a funny. I think it's funny. Yeah. Thank you, Wes. I appreciate it. Yeah. No, I've been trying to stream later. I don't know if you guys noticed. It's to catch West Coast people. If you're a West Coast viewer, hello. I'm now streaming later uh, for you specifically. So there you go. Hello, West Coast viewers. Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. Yeah, I used to end stream at 11 pretty much every single time. Um, but I, uh, you know, West East Coast 11, which is only 8 o'clock for you guys. So we go a little bit later now. Very nice of you. Thank you, thank Somewhere you. Inside all of us. Very William nice of you guys Hero. to pay me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ooh, 2080. You know what? 2080s are nice, but you know what's better than a 2080? <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's I won't say. You know what it is. I, I, Wait, why are the subs up there? Can I change that? Huh? Bet. I don't like them being in the it top right. It's the chance to make lifelong fantasies a reality. The source of light. I am tubeculous. Slime ball, baby. It's slime ball. <laughs> I'm monkey woman. But more than anything, the we'll last drag hero them? No, it doesn't work. Will receive the one prize money can turn them off and then Immortality. On? No. This is something I've really wanted to do since I, I just want to turn them off if they're going to be up there. Everything I've done in my life up to this point. In a contest unlike any other, one winner will have their character like. immortalized in an original comic book by Stan Lee, the mastermind behind the greatest super That shit's annoying up there. History. Being oh, narration stays up top? Oh, is that what it is? Be a dream come true. But true fans what? will be tested on the qualities that make up a true hero. The only way to the other side is across that beam. They'll face situations that will test their courage. <laughs> Climb over her fence and go through the back door. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you There's kidding me? To rehabilitate convicted felons. Just get, get bit by dogs? Get her off me. They do know that this is not a conjugal visit. You trying to tell me how to live my life? You look ridiculous. I could really use a hug. They'll experience a roller coaster of emotions. This is ridiculous. I would never do that. <laughs> one by one, the competitors will be eliminated in a dramatic ceremony like no other. We know, we know. Yeah, we know. Gathered by Stan Spy, caused the first. Yeah, we saw the first episode. Nitro G's gone. We're going to need. Okay, here we go. I would never. Heroes, I'd like you to assemble in the living room. I need your attention. When Stan comes on the monitor, it's a little scary and it's a little exciting, because you don't know if he's gonna send you on another death-defying adventure or tell you that you're eliminated. Hello, superheroes. Before you dive into breakfast, I have a little assignment for you. If you think the person standing next to you isn't superhero material, now is the time to let me know. Huh? Write down questions that you want to ask each other. Don't sign your name, and I will read them aloud. Oh, Put shit. Put your questions in that tube in the corner, and they'll be whisked away to me. Let's see it's how a test. each of you reacts under pressure when you're on the hot seat. This is such a transparent way to get drama, by the way. And he's definitely going to say who wrote it. He absolutely is going to say that. I actually wish this wasn't anonymous. These questions that we're writing are something that really detect what's in a person's heart. And I think that that's important. It shows true character. How cool. I bet your ass I got some questions for these pinheads. <laughs> Stan? <laughs> Here it comes. <laughs> that's okay, just the fucking... Superheroes. It's just a tube that Let goes downstairs. This first question is... He could have just made it a hole. Ouch. 
This is a little rough. Creature, your hair is starting to scare me. <laughs> when is the last time you watched it? <laughs> my hair stores my superpowers. So when I wash oh. my hair, I feel empty and powerless. Creature needs to work on her parents. She looks like a homeless Princess Leia. Wow. This next question uh. is a little mean-spirited. Fat Mama, do you really think that a fat superheroine would be a good role model for children? Dum, dum. I certainly do, or I wouldn't be here. Who asks these kind of questions? If you have a problem with my weight, ask me to my face. Well, I mean, this is the challenge, Fat it's Mama. starting to stink in here. Would it kill you to use a little antiperspirant? Oh, <laughs> stinky enforcer. He doesn't even wear clothes. He's so stinky. All he has to do is wash under his arms and put up some He's deodorant. so stinky. <laughs> you know something, everybody? This is what I got to say. Whatever. I don't care what people think about me. I'm not here to make friends at all. I'm only here to win the prize. Not here to make friends. They didn't ask you to be their friend. Do you think a superhero who's a male stripper sends a bad message to the kids? It's all about the kids. That question was a low blow. I'd love to know who asked that. <laughs> well, I'm not a male stripper anymore. That was his tragic I guess backstory. Being a male stripper gave me a lot of experience, and maybe I can spread that to the youth. Of uh, hold up a second. Hold up. <laughs> you can't spread one to me forever. That can't give you no. I'm not saying to hit a pole, kids. I'm not saying do that. I was just trying to say that I've learned from my mistakes and kids should mistakes? know what was wrong. All right, let's take a last question. Someone wants to know. The Iron Enforcer seems to be on steroids. <laughs> Is that legal? He just said it straight up. Ooh. Holy shit. Well, if steroids are used for a positive thing, I think it's a good thing, no? We literally had this talk. We literally had this discussion. Wait. We literally talked about this during the other stream. That's insane. No, and during during Opposite Worlds, I was like, that guy's definitely on steroids, but he was a firefighter. So I was like, huh, is that ethical? Because, like, who cares, right? They're saving people. They're trying to help people, so it's probably good for firefighters to be on steroids, right? Now he's saying the same fucking thing. But this what guy is hell? killing Are you people. Me? I look better than anyone else good in point. this house. Good point, good point. How dare they single me out? And they're the ones with all the problems. He is killing people. Yeah, today no, you're right. You're the right. the cruel day <laughs> of this. The line between superhero and real person... What is this cam quality? Obscure. They're on a C920. Where before, maybe people were putting on an act for their superhero that was different than a real person. But <sighs> Thank you, we're seeing those lines. <laughs> you're also one. stinky. Yeah. Well, superheroes, why don't you head into the kitchen for a quick <laughs> breakfast? You're going to need some fuel for what I have in store for Stinky you. Stinky enforcer. A hearty breakfast will carry us through our mission. Oh. Mm -hmm. Hey, guys, what do you think we have to do today? What kind of challenge? Well, knowing Stan, it's going to be hard. Let me have your attention. You just answered some really tough questions that tested your emotional courage and your integrity. Okay. Now, I'd like to see if you have another one of the inner qualities that make a true superhero. Like what? What I'd like you to do is take the transport. There's a little old lady, and she's locked herself out of her house. She needs your help. Thank goodness you're here. The alley's around the back, and I'll just wait for you right here. All you have to do... Why can't Iron and Forrester just break the door the down? Door and let her into the house. Ah, there's a backyard over this fence. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, 
Holy shit. Holy fuck. They're just canine dogs. Oh my god. Iron Enforcer just zaps the dogs. Did you know that your toughest cleaning problems can be caused? That's enough. I know what my toughest cleaning problems are caused by. I know what I'm about. Da, 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 da. I love this shit. I love it. Predict the final four that makes it to the end. I, I have to see all of them. I think feedback makes it. Not a joke. I'm positive feedback will make it. I think it's like... It's from uh, Mario Party 2. I'm thinking feedback... I don't think Major Victory makes it all the way. I think, uh, I think Major Victory makes it like 6th. Do you think Iron Enforcer is a Rorschach fan? Yeah, I think Iron Enforcer loves Punisher, but doesn't get it. You know? Like, he doesn't see that Punisher is supposed to be, like, very low-hanging, lowest cut. It's supposed to be, you know, sort of uh, indulgent and silly. But he's just like, yo, cool. He killed that guy. You know? Oh, God. Never? Thank you, very timekeeper. Never? Should not be attempted by anyone, anywhere, any place, anytime, under any circumstance. Under any circumstances? <laughs> That's. Never say never, you know? Come on. Over the little rascal's peak. When I saw those dogs, my mouth opened. They almost knocked the fence over trying to get to us. Her mouth opened. Holy smokes. There's the back door. She almost and ate like them. Fat mama attack. What? <laughs> I'd hate for those dogs to ruin your costume. What the fuck? You might want to wear these. That's hardcore. They stitched them individual jackets? Major dog food. All you have to do is get past the door and touch the back. Door Holy with shit! Oh my god! Ah, oh, that's a lot! That is so many! Oh, man, that's 50. That is 50 subs. Oh, man. Thank you very much. Holy shit. Sweet God. Dude, no, I saw it, and I thought it was like 10, 20, and then it just kept going. Uh, uh. Holy shit. It was supposed to be five. <laughs> Thank you so much, Omega Apex. Holy shit. Thank you. That's enough for a third episode. Relax. Tuesday. Tuesday. Thank you so much, Omega Apex. Holy shit. God damn. That means we're at 20, 2130, I think. Oh my god, dude. That's crazy. Thank you so much. Oh. Thank you, Econ. No more. No more. Thank you. Thank you for the five. 2136 now. I get. Oh my god. Thank you so much. Jesus. I I do not deserve your support, but I do appreciate it greatly. Thank you so much. Holy shit. Thank you, Ecompton. Fuck. Wait, did Ecompton go one less than Omega? He's at 70 and he's at 71. <laughs> Why'd he do that? He's right there. Okay. I'm not telling you to give more. 
Just to be clear, I don't want you to give more. It's just weird that you would stop at the one, you know. Good fella, good fella. Thank you guys very much. Part of your body. This challenge is all about. Okay, there. Okay, there. If at any I didn't want you, you to do it, just to be courage. clear. Okay. You have only to Whatever. say uncle, and the dogs will back off. I'm very curious. Please, no money fight. Please, no money fight. Door, or how long you last before you give up. Thank you guys very much. Because I'll be real tired after I get down with them. What do you think? Okay. When Tyveculus offered to go first, I thought, be my guest. As long as it's not me. <laughs> Say uncle immediately. Use everything you can. Uncle! I thought it would be heroic Being not to take any damage I from the dogs. Dangerous situations before. Right now, my heart is racing. Honestly, just say uncle immediately and then go unlock the door. <laughs> I unlocked it the fastest, making me the victim. <laughs> Stop, dogs. Oh shit, he like burst through them. Release me, hounds. Blasted canines. He's pretty strong, dude. Bro, let him go. The game is over, dog. Jesus. Thank you, Iano. Wow, that was definitely rough, but I accomplished my mission. I don't think anyone will be able to beat my time. This guy is zero content. Wow, that was a tough challenge, but I think I did good, and nobody Great. will be. Tyveculus made it, but I weigh about as much as one of his legs. I'm chopped liver, and dogs like liver. <laughs> she has, like, plant pots on her hands. <laughs> She's taken away to the villain's lair. Can you hit the dogs? Engine stuff. And they got me. <laughs> Can you hit the dogs? I feel like I just got. I mean, if I'm trying to win, like, you're gonna give some canines? Let me fuck that. It's one thing to laugh if you accomplish a goal. You know? A blindie didn't even make it to the door. That's not my fault. Anyway. That's the show's fault. You gave me dogs, and they're biting me. I'm gonna beat the shit out of those dogs and accomplish my mission. I'm a bouncer, and I, I'm used to this kind of stuff. I wouldn't so want to do it. I gotta save the grandma. The field, I will. <laughs> Stan Lee would put you... Oh, shit! Stan Lee would definitely put me on the queue. I would just toss the dogs. Damn, he's carrying them both. That's on his good arm, too. Let me up these fucking stairs. Uncle, uncle, uncle. Uncle. Uncle? What do you mean, you uncle? Step away from that door. I don't know. I don't know what happened. How are you that big to get that close to the oh, door and then man. just quit? I don't understand it. He's oh, gone, so close. dude. He's gone. I refuse to let Stan down again. It's gonna take more than he is absolutely down. gone now. He can't keep getting away with this. <laughs> I love that sound effect. You will not take me down. They literally did. They did do that. They did take him. <laughs> he sounds like Poppy when she's at low HP. I love him. It felt amazing to complete my mission. Stan's gotta be Dude proud. has a hidden passive. Hell yeah. Fat mama needs our That's dog. me poking Poppy under turf. Just talking shit the whole time. What? Oh. I thought that would work. I thought that would work. Should have brought some meat, fat mama. That's pretty good content, though. That was pretty funny. Yeah, Uncle. she can't. Yeah, she she's not completing this. She can't. I was hoping those dogs would go for the donuts, 
but it seemed like they was too busy trying to get after me. She'll be fine. Damn, he still ate it? Wow, at that. Dogs she didn't even get her donut back. Pretty easy to digest. I salute you, you ferocious animals. I love Captain Content, dude. I love you guys. <laughs> you guys are sexy, and I miss you. And I miss you. What? What? Feel the love, baby. Feel the love. I was into it. A real adrenaline rush. How's my hair? This is Homelander. It's Homelander. This is fucking. He's gonna snap. He's gonna snap one up. This is fucking Homelander. He's gonna. Something's gonna go terribly wrong. He hasn't gotten over his past. Yeah, I don't. I there's something up here. That yard with what the dogs. fuck? Talk about facing your fears. Homelander would have killed the dogs, not with the cameras watching. God, the poor women, dude. The women are so much smaller except for Fat Mama. Like, they can't... Oh, God, her face is exposed. Yeah, you gotta uncle that. Jesus. I really try, but I couldn't make it to the back door. Woo! I hope Steph doesn't eliminate me. What if there was another crying child in this challenge, too? I would ignore it here. Wow, I'm nervous. My heart's racing. It reminds me of the time Little when girl. I was actually bit by a dog. I can't find my dogs! Where are my dogs? What did your dogs look like? Oh God, she died instantly. I have a horrible headache, and those dogs just made it worse. Being a superhero is die. Than I thought it was. Wait, what? She actually just hit the die. These were poisonous dogs. The venom spread instantly. Holy shit! Die. Oh my god! I have a that was the crit. Headache, and those dogs just made it worse. Holy Being fuck! Being a superhero is a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. Wait, was that Monkey Woman? That was Monkey Woman, right? She's gone. Here we go! Dude, she's absolutely gone Shouldn't now. cell phone girl just call animal services? <laughs> <laughs> that is her power. That's a good point. I disappointed oh, that was cell phone girl? Okay, challenge, that's not too bad, though. He gave me another chance, and that's fine. Cell phone it. girl's fine. Those dogs are going to have to kill me before I stop. She'll be on the block, but she won't be, uh... It being two dogs kind of sucks. Yeah, like... Oh my god, that sound? That... Oh my god, dude. It's gonna be like opposite world. She actually broke her arm. I love this song. Jesus. Yeah, it, 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 two, I feel like it sucks because, like, two dogs is strong, but one dog isn't enough, especially for the big dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. You can't use strategy against two dogs. Well, yeah, you just have to be big enough to carry them both, which is what some of them are doing. They're just, like, bursting through it. It should have been one dog for the gals. Yeah, but then it's like, I don't know. You want to have them all on equal for footing? I assume it won't matter too much, but... Yeah, it's just physical. This is just a stat check. That's all this is. Big dog and a small dog. Ooh! I like that. I dig that. Yeah. Not bad. I assume it's more about the courage than actually completing. Yeah, that's a good point. He probably just wants you to try, which means that cell phone girl might be in more trouble than I thought. So she broke her arm? Listen to this. Oh! Don't say it! Come on, monkey girl! 
They just do this for an hour. She won't let stand down again! Yeah, at some point you can't complete it. Like... I was getting worried for Monkey Woman. She wouldn't quit. <laughs> A minute? She's not getting any closer. Yeah, she's winning points on this one. Even if she drops out now, she gets met. Four minutes? What the? What the fuck? Monkey woman? The dogs have got to be exhausted. But she's even more so. Everybody made it to the door or yelled uncle in less than a minute. That girl just wouldn't give up. Holy shit, dude. She's getting closer. She might win this contest, but she's gonna have to go to the fucking hospital. She's out of the con out of the show, like. Oh my god. They're pulling her to the door! They respect her now! They respect her! I'll give it up. I will give it up. That was one of the hardest things I I will ever give done. it all the way up. I made it to that door. Monkey girl, that was terrible. You took 10 minutes to get to the door. I don't care if it took me three hours. I was not going to give up. <laughs> that old lady died in the hot summer heat. You should have been faster. Great work, superheroes. I know that was a tough one. But I learned something about each and every Oh my one god, of that's funny. As you know, an elimination can come at any time. And unfortunately, we've reached that moment again. No way. Meet right me now? In the living room, back at the lair. It's time for someone to go home. Dude, we're only halfway through the episode. That's crazy. Today's challenge. What's her cell phone girl is gone. Thing. Cell phone girl and is gone. Gone. Courage. Yep. Monkey woman. I don't know that I've ever seen anything like what you did today. Young lady, I am very proud of you. Thank you. I'll give it up. Not all of you made it to the door, but Cell phone girl is actually gone now. Yeah, no question. That makes me question if you have what it takes to be a real superhero. She's going to cry again. Cell phone girl. Uh -oh. You complained that you had a headache and then gave up. <laughs> it's I all those cell phone rays. The world is in grave danger. Do we just ignore it because of a headache? Time you lasted was four seconds, which was by far the shortest of anyone. Goodbye. Cell phone girl, I've got to ask you to step forward. Yep, she's gone. I don't know why we have to do multiple people. It's just her. She's gone. Who else would it be? Iron Enforcer. He made it to the door. You're the biggest and strongest one here, and yet he didn't quite. He didn't up. finish it, you but were still. A mere twelve inches from that. No, door. I know he didn't make it, but and you know you what I mean. Uncle, you just cannot get that close to accomplishing something, and then quit. I have to ask you to step forward. Oh, man. Lumeria, creature, there's something that bothered me about each of your efforts in the dog challenge. Hmm? Lumeria, you got pretty far, but then you let the dogs drag you right back to where you started. Well, a little strategy might have come in handy there. What are you talking you about? Be smarter with these challenges. <laughs> You're too stupid, Lumeria. If it were me, I simply would have just walked the dogs to the door, idiot. Why did you let the dogs take you back? That's the opposite direction. 
She's Preacher, crying. You were laughing every step of the way. Now, it's one thing to laugh in the face of danger, but not when you're failing to accomplish your goal. Oh my God. Your laughing really makes me question your commitment and sincerity. <laughs> However, Numeria, you lasted much longer than Creature, which is why I must ask Creature to step forward. <laughs> Fuck. Not taking it seriously. You created Spider Man! You invented Spider Man! Like each of you now. What the fuck are you talking about? Should not be eliminated. Starting with cell phone girl. Well, like you said, um, one of the. Spider Man wins, though. Not always. He did. Oh, he did win that salty bet. Never mind. You're right. I still have a terrible. I'll give it up. Right now. I tried and. And I'm definitely proud of myself. He won that. that tournament. Yep. Thank you, cell phone girl. Iron Enforcer. I don't want people. Wait, to did get she say she still has a headache? <laughs> did I miss that? Phone. Sorry. Well, like you said, um, one of the reasons I gave was a headache, and um, I still have a terrible headache right now. <laughs> I tried. And I'm definitely proud of myself for that. Thank you, cell phone. <laughs> Iron Enforcer. By the way, my migraine is fucking my killing side, me, Stan. <clears throat> which is the most apparent. It's the spiritual side of me that's my best quality. Spiritual? This is why I would like to stay. Thank you, Iron Enforcer. What? Creature? Sometimes when you're uncomfortable or you're fearful of something, the only sound that emits is laughter. And perhaps yep. it was really fearful for me, but laughter came out and that fueled me on. And I'm I'm ready and I might do it laughing, That's true. but I will be there and I'll do it. That's true. Thank you, creature. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. I'll give it up. You know, this is probably my most difficult decision so far. Huh? But unfortunately, Somebody must this is go. the second decision so far. Therefore, and the it's an easy one. Must leave the lair now. Is <laughs> I know who it is. We know who it is. Are we going to add? We're going to the fucking end. We know who it is. I would bet any amount of money. Like it's it's clearly cell phone girl. Right. She complained about a headache. He said, don't complain. And then she said, I still have a headache, by the way. By the way. Cell phone girl's power is invalidated by communicators. That's true. Literally the one thing they gave them on day one. By the way, I forgot to do this earlier. The word of the day, longanimity. 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 Longanimity, of course, is showy but inferior and worthless. Oh wait, no, that's Brumagum. 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 Showy but worthless. Brumagum. Brumagum. Longanimity. Longanimity. Patient endurance of hardship, injuries, or offense. Forbearance. Monkey Girl showed quite a bit of longanimity. I'd say. I'd say so. What is happening here? Did the channel die? Come on. Oh my god. Do 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 Dude, apparently the guy that uh the CEO of Little Caesar is like a great guy. I did not know that was true. Good for him. He recently passed. Oh, did he? That sucks. Damn. Caesar himself. <laughs> no. Oh, we're back here. Uh, but this is where they're all lined up. Yeah. Can I go here? Okay. Cell phone girl. Okay, we knew that. I know I spoiled it, but I couldn't get close to the ad. I didn't want to watch it again. But we knew she was gone, so it's fine. I'm afraid you're out of me. <laughs> Cell phone girl, turn in your costume. 
See, guys, that's a joke because back in the day, you had to buy individual minutes for I your phone. I am so. definitely disappointed. Just so you know. You know, you put so much time and effort into something, and um, I wanted this. I wanted to be a superhero and embody what a superhero is. Which but how's your head I feeling? I, do. I genuinely feel like a lot of these people are fine with going home. I, I feel like a lot of these guys like her, she's just like, I don't care. This is so stupid. Because they don't win a prize. They don't win a cash prize, I don't think. You win a comic book. You get a comic book of your character, and it's not going to blow up. Like, I don't think they win a cash prize. I could be wrong. but And a movie? Yeah, a made-for-TV sci-fi movie. Although this was back in the day when American Idol, like, people thought that those shows would make you famous no matter what. Like, this was back in the day where, like, the, they had, con like, contests, and if you won the contest, you thought that you were set for life. And now, in 2021, we realize that does not happen. Superheroes, we're all gonna miss cell phone girls, so let's call it a night. Meet me here first thing in the morning. American Idol spawned all these shows, yeah. The 2000s were crazy, dude. Like. But what's crazy is it's only, uh... Like, it's only funny in hindsight. When you were in it, it didn't feel like this. But now you look back, you're like, oh my god, that was crazy. Fulfillment. Each of you will get a costume makeover. <laughs> Prepare to be amazed, superheroes. Lumeria, please join me in the other room. Yeah. Yes! I'm absolutely stunned. I cannot wait to see what Stan's vision is for Lumeria. You know, as far as your costume is concerned, Lumeria is... Disco is from the 70s. <laughs> and so am I. What? Girls, if you would step in now. I, I don't... I, I'm, I'm trying to say this delicately. She is one pothole from an FCC fine. Like, they're going, they are, they, she is a liability. They, they, they're going to have to do some editing. I'm, actually, I'm positive it happened. There is cutting room floor footage of that. What I'd like you to do, as far as Lumeri is concerned, you know what I want her costume to look like, but make sure to blindfold. So what if it's even sexier? It. Like, what I if Stanley <laughs> removes that even more? <laughs> Stan. Stan! It's strapless. Better. Uria, remove your blindfold. I mean, that's better than before. Wait, that. <laughs> yeah, come on. Shit, they gave her eyeliner with a blindfold on? Stan? Who did that? How. <laughs> what kind of. I, he has some other kind of superheroes. I don't know. He's got some. <laughs> Look in the mirror. They could just. <laughs> Wow! And that is your new costume. Wow! Wow! This costume definitely makes me feel like a superhero. It's eyeshadow. Like she has I eyeshadow, can, mascara, you know, it, it, lashes. It makes me feel like I could probably throw a fireball. Good for her. Hello, boss. What do you think? They had to make this up because she fell out too many times in episode one. <sighs> they got. We got to come up with some I kind of challenge. She's the only one that gets a makeover. I see my makeover. Thank you, superheroes. Back to your beds. That's all for tonight. <laughs> he looks the same. Do you trust me, my friend? Oh wait, he, I thought he already got changed. What is that Judge Dread helmet? The treat of a lifetime, ladies. I thought he changed. I thought he. I was gonna say. Whoa. Tibeculus. Your oh shit! What is that? 
Oh, they did him dirty. That's so bad. Why did they do that to hit? <laughs> wow. I don't know. That's not exactly the way I had envisioned it. What do you think, Tyveculus? It's a challenge. It's a challenge. He's gonna, he wants them to be honest. Today, my fantasies are fulfilled. <laughs> I am a superhero. No. By the source of light, I am Tyveculus. Yes. I love it, sir. Well, I'm glad you're pleased, Tyveculus. When I first saw the outfit, I thought, you know what? I'm gonna stay strong. But in the inside, I was like, what? Yo, yo. <laughs> he fucked up. Stan is absolutely watching that footage. He's gone. Tyveculus is gone. He's gone. Tyveculus' costume looks ridiculous. <laughs> Look at that thing on his head. It looks like a big giant fan. He's gone. Right now, you're Stan Lee's biggest fan. I know I told Stan that I like this costume, <laughs> but I really don't. I got this big feathery cock a doodle doo on top of my head. <laughs> so I thought if I cut the feathers off, that I'd be able to live with it. Clearly, it wasn't the feathers. <laughs> Right now, you're Stan Lee's biggest fan. What? What the fuck did you just say to me? <laughs> oh my god! That was so fucking funny! Look at his face when he sees the costume, by the way. <laughs> He's sweating. Holy shit. Oh my god. <laughs> now, this, this should be the new OK Champ. This should be the new OK Champ. Holy shit, that's so fucking funny. Oh, look at this smile. Yes, I love it, sir. Well, I'm glad you think it was while he was talking. Wow. I don't know. That's not exactly the way I had envisioned. Oh, my stomach is. Oh, what my ribs think, hurt. Tybeculus? Holy shit. Today, my fantasies are fulfilled. I am a superhero. No. Yes. I'm glad. Yo, yo. This is so fucking funny. This is the funniest thing I've ever seen. Tyveculus's costume looks ridiculous. Feedback just had to go too far. He had to go too far. Big giant fan. Tyveculus, right now, you're Stan Lee's biggest fan. You talking about? You like it? I know I told Stan that I like this costume, but I really the don't. The smile after the OK champ. On top of my head. Tyveculus. So I thought if I cut the feathers off, you're Stan Lee's biggest it. fan. Clearly, it wasn't the feathers. Holy shit. I need to go talk to Stan again. I just hope that he doesn't get mad because I didn't like his new costume. Tyveculus, I understand you want to see me again. Oh, let's go. OK, he's telling the honest. Costume. OK, we're being honest. <sighs> Oh. <laughs> hey, little fella. Holy fucking shit. Oh, this show is so much better than I could have imagined. Oh, my God. Oh, dude. This show is so much better than I thought it would be. Oh my god, my, my, I literally, I have cramps in my stomach from laughing. I'm trying to, like, get them out. Oh, dude. This show rules. The rest of the episode just be costumes? I think it is. Because they have to go through everybody. And I think, I think the costumes are a challenge, and he wants honesty. 
Like, you have to be honest with him about how you feel, you know? Man. I can't get over the smile after he said the line. I just can't believe it was such, like, a comic book corny line. And he took it like it was, like, a slur. He just... Boom. What do you mean? <laughs> that was so fucked up. Oh, my God. He couldn't believe he said that. Like... This show is excellent. <laughs> Triveculus, I understand you won't see me again. Do you have a problem with your costume? It's okay. I'll, I'll just have to deal with it. It's okay to be laughed at. It's not ever okay for a superhero to be laughed at. Triveculus, just say I what you to mean. Go back and put your original costume back on. Okay. I should be relieved, but... Now I'm worried that somehow I've let Stan down. Oh, man. All he had to do was be honest. Not a little wimp. Major Victory looks the same. I think. Maybe just higher quality? Yes! Mr. Shiny Pants! Why is he just fucking with Tyveculus? Everybody looks better except for Tyveculus. Oh my god. <laughs> you have suddenly become a hot mama now. I love it. <laughs> I hate feedback. Now that's a superhero. Dude, feedback is so good. <laughs> Oh god, what is Iron Enforcer gonna look like? Oh, uh, what if he just makes him Jax for Mortal Kombat? What? Oh, yeah! Do you like it? Oh, yeah! <laughs> and now you've got to live up to that costume. She is bananas? <laughs> Thank you, Legend. What the fuck is this? One knee guard and one shin guard. This looks considerably worse. He has a glove now. Maybe this... Oh, it fell? Oh. <laughs> They're both knee guards. Oh, this might be another trick. This might be another trick. I think this is another Tyveculus. Wow. I think. Amazing. You know, something's just not right, but I can't put my finger on it. I'm shocked. Stan says something was missing from my costume. What's missing? Let me think about it a little, and I'll get back to you. <laughs> okay. A toupee? Oh, he has to go back in his first costume. <laughs> what happened? Didn't like the outfit that they gave. This is you. This is you. This is definitely you. I'm Judge just Dread really helmet and all. That Stan is going to eliminate me because I rejected his costume. Superhero. I would eliminate you for being a little baby like about I said it. Before you're being judged at all times. Honesty. Honesty. And as surprising as it may seem. It's time for an elimination. Yep. Yep. Get him. Y'all were lying to him. Old lying ass. Wait, who was dishonest though? Everybody liked their costume except him. Feedback gets eliminated Hello, for bullying? I did a makeover Feedback. You broke Tyveculus's heart. As always, I was watching how you acted. And it was actually <laughs> quite going. I'm going to ask three oh, of you dude. to step forward. Why is One it wrong to be my biggest fan? 
I have many fans. Please uh, step onto the red cube. Who leaves here? I actually don't know. <laughs> this looks like a hit piece for Tyveculus. They just wanted him gone. This is like they find out like halfway through the show, the background check comes back. And it's like, oh, God, this guy's not a good. But yeah, we got to get rid of him. How do we do it? Yeah, fuck with his costume. I don't know. <laughs> if he leaves, I'm fortune. going to fucking die. Please step onto the red cube. Oh. Drop the feathers. Feedback. Will you step onto the red cube? Oh no! Oh, talking shit! Oh, talking shit! That's not very becoming of a superhero feedback. How could you? you bully I ass. Was, I'm a little taken aback by what happened at the makeover today. My fantasy's been fulfilled. I am a superhero. <laughs> My fantasy? Yes. Oh! I have Man. no problem with you not liking your new costume, but there's a more serious issue. At first, you said you liked your new costume. Honesty is one of the most important True. traits of a superhero. Yep, old lion ass. You lied right to my face. Insane. Feedback. I can't believe you made fun of Ty Veculus when you saw his costume. So, Tybeculus, right now, you're Stan Lee's biggest fan. Superheroes make people feel better about themselves. <laughs> now it makes perfect sense why. Stan is 100% right. I shouldn't have made fun of Tybeculus. Iron oh my fucking God. Oh Your my. head's on the chopping block in every elimination. And that's and why that's you're here now. Good. You quit in the dog challenge, and you didn't stop for the crying child. Why is he up there now, then? You seem to be well-liked around Wait, what? here with the accusations about B.O. and steroids. What? And all. To top it off, your makeover just didn't seem to work. That's your fault! I don't know. Maybe I just can't get past that gun. Like I said before, superheroes don't kill what people. What the they fuck? Save people. Yeah, we know. What? Superheroes, it's time for one of you to say goodbye. What? This is awful, no matter who it is. No matter who this is, it's just... The person who must leave the lair tonight is... Did they just want him to get rid of the gun, I guess? Was he, like, trying to hint to drop the gun? Oh, my God, dude. No, feedback is that. I think, I think it's Enforcer. It's not fair, but I think they want to get rid of him. Like, this is personal. If they got rid of Tyveculus, that'd be so mean. Thank you, Mezican. Yeah, they just needed a third person up there. Like, I, man. Good lord, man. What a fucking show. Stan was expecting Enforcer to say, I don't want a gun anymore. Yeah, I was going to say he was trying to hint something to him. But he said, let me get back to you. So it was like, dude, I don't like any of these. Like, and if any of these are gone, it's going to be bullshit, you know? Fuck, man. What a nightmare. Oh, this show is so funny. I guarantee you feedback was fed that insult too. I, I don't know. I feel like feedback is like... That seems like something he would say. But... Yeah, probably. Probably. <laughs> Producers are like, hey, say this. It'd be very funny. But they didn't tell Stan. 
the producers told him to do that, but they didn't. And Stan saw it, and he's like, oh, can't believe he said that. <laughs> oh. Superheroes, the person going home tonight is... The producers are working Stan, too. It's Iron Enforcer, for sure, for sure. It's him. Iron Enforcer. Yeah, they want him gone. Yep. Iron Enforcer, turn in your costume. Wait! Sorry. <laughs> the gun barely fits. You no more gun! To see someone go, but he didn't really fit in with all of us anyway. Plus, it's sure gonna smell a lot nicer around here. Thanks, fat mama. Damn, good balance. Congratulations, superheroes. You've survived another elimination. But do not get complacent, because trust me, your quest is about to get more difficult. Much more difficult. I'm really pissed right now about this whole thing. Stanley throwing me out. It's ridiculous. You think Fat Woman is a superhero? You must be kidding me. Hey, Iron Enforcer. During your makeover, something was bothering me. <laughs> and I couldn't put my finger on it. But now I know exactly what it is. Yeah. You make a lousy superhero. Yeah. But you make a great super villain. Really? Spider Man had the Green Goblin. Yeah. Superman had Lex Luthor. Yeah. I want you to be the new super villain of this show. Yeah. You can help me test your former competitors to see if they've really got what it takes. Yeah. How would you like to help me make their lives extremely difficult? <laughs> I would love it. Can I give you the makeover you really deserve? A He's gonna give him his gun back. Over? He's gonna give him the gun Good. back. Good. Ladies? They make super villains too? It's the same people? Yeah, so I, for, I I remembered this, and that's why I said, wait. I was like, I think the reason he didn't like the makeover was because it was a hero and not a villain. So I did kind of cheat. I subconsciously remembered it. I was like, wait. Now I remember. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, I gotta not... I don't want to spoil anything else. I'm sorry. I wasn't cheating. I'm not getting any points for this. But I didn't remember that. Life for our superheroes is about to oh, change. Oh, that's good. I'm so happy they, they did this, too. You as creation, the Dark Enforcer. <laughs> Where's his gun? Where's the gun? That's just Cobra Commander. Okay. Oh, dude. That's so much worse? No, come on. He looks nice. You're not scared? Imagine this dude came up to you at night. So scary. He does need a gun, though. They do need to give him a gun. What if they threw away his gun that he made himself? Oh, that's good. I'll give it up. I mean, I, think of it this way. The costumes can't be too good, because if they were that good, they would use them on actual superheroes. Right? Like, they can't give two good designs away. Otherwise, they're fucked. One more. Relax. We're done. We're done for tonight. Guys. Excellent stream. If you're just getting here, we hit sub 20 tonight. We did a stream of story time. Then we did uh, we did Waluigi's Taco Stand. And then we did 20 tw sub 20. And then we did this. Thank you guys for tuning in. And thank you guys so much for the support. I, I genuinely, it means the world to me. Um, I know I say this a lot, but uh, I remember being at my old job before I did content in this stuff full time in, in Panda. And I was like, if I could just hit a thousand subs, I'd be pretty happy. And now it's like, holy shit, you know?
Like, even without gifts, I'm probably, like, 16, 17. You know? It's nuts. So, thank you guys very much. It does mean the world to me. And I'm just so happy to be able to do shit like this, you know? Like, when I was, when I was, uh, thank you, DJ Flint. When I was working before, it was like, yeah, I could do stuff like this, but I had to only stream for three hours because I had to work the next day. And it was just like, I couldn't do any of this. And I'm so happy to be able to do this. So, it means the world to me. Thank you guys so much for the support. Seriously, especially everybody that's been here for, God, forever. There's been a lot of people that have been around for years and years, so. Um, anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. New YouTube video tomorrow. It's another bomb video. Uh, I think it's the last bomb video. Um, I want to get this Blockbuster out video Wednesday, if we can do it. Because it's a, uh, you know, it's it's sort of topical, somewhat. I mean, Blockbuster will sort of blow over there, but it'll be fun. You're gonna beat Ludwig one day? No, one, no, I won't, and two, I don't want to. <laughs> I, I, I'm not, I'm not looking to do that. I'd be happy at, you know, I, I'd be happy at this. I'm very happy. I'm very content. I don't, I, I do, like, obviously, I want to grow, but you know, I don't want to blow up the world. What's the next uh, stream of superhero show? Tuesday. We'll do it Tuesday. Probably one or two episodes. We'll see. So, all right. Uh, who are we rating? Let me see. I want to raid Tizia soon. Let me see. Am I on Cameo? I've thought about it. Would people buy Cameos? I'd do it in a heartbeat. Five bucks. Hell yeah. You guys would do Cameo? I don't think people would do it, but... Mm-hmm-hmm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go to TK. Sure. I've rated Joe a few. I it's been a long time since I've rated TK. So, been a while. All right, fellas, thank you guys so much. Incredible stream, amazing. Check out the YouTube tomorrow. New video going up. Um, lots of cool stuff coming. Stream Tuesday. I don't know what we're playing. I think we're gonna do tabletop and then uh, more of this. Um, but maybe something else in the in the swing of things. A lot of stuff coming up. Um, yeah, I'm very happy to do what we're doing. It's a good time. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Wow, what an absolutely incredible stream from me, the Honorable Grand King Kony ZZ. One that will go down into history books as the best Twitch broadcast of all time. We laughed, cried, and maybe even learned a little something along the way. What was your favorite part of the stream? That was my favorite part too. Please don't cry, though our adventures are coming to an end. Let us always remember the good times. I say to you, my fellow kings, dry your tears. The stream may be over, but its cherished memory will live forever on in our hearts. Until next time, my name is Cody ZZ, and thank you for watching my stream. Go the fuck to sleep. Oh, I'm about to tweet out the sub 20, by the way. Be ready to retweet and like. Be ready. I'm tweeting it out, fellas.